Assemble everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a great weekend so far. Hope you're having a great weekend so far. Welcome to the Duelist Cup second stage stream. Um, <laughs> a little bit shorter of a stream than last time uh, where we played the world qualifiers. Um, you know. <laughs> Patty, thank you for the eight months. Welcome back. Appreciate that. Uh, all right. Who killed, who killed the good emotes? Uh, I don't know, actually. I was wondering the, th the same thing as we, uh, as we did that. Uh, there might be, a, there might be a, an issue with 7TV on stream. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, uh, welcome to the stream, everybody. Hope you're having a great weekend so far. I said that already. I don't know why I repeated myself. Anyways, we are going to... Do a little bit of uh, Duelist Cup second stage grinding today. Um, now, the stakes are not nearly as high as they were last time when we played the World's Qualifiers, simply because um, we are already qualified for Worlds next year, uh, because we won this year's World Championship, which means that uh, th this is the reason why I haven't been streaming for 72 hours. Although, I'm not gonna lie, call me crazy. You, you probably will call me crazy, but... The entire weekend, right? The entire weekend, I'm sitting here and I'm watching people do the grind, right? On, on Twitch, which was hype, by the way. It was a hype weekend to be following people on Twitch. Like, Jesse was doing it. Raymond Dye was doing it. Farfa was doing it on Friday. Roar Carlos was doing really well. So many people were streaming their runs in the Duelist Cup. And it was very, very exciting. And the more I was watching, the more I was like, damn, I wish I was grinding right now. Even though it's, it's so dumb, because it's like... I didn't even need to, right? But I, I was just itching. I was itching to be like, okay, how would I do in this? Like, how, how would I be doing if I was grinding right now, you know? And uh, I don't know, man. I don't, I, look, honestly, honestly, if they, if, if on the next Duelist Cup, if I have time on that weekend, I might just do it again. Just for, just for the fun of it. Because I'm actually like, I'm watching it the entire weekend. And I'm just like, dude, I wish I was tryharding right now. I wish I was tryharding right now. Ray subsound? Dude, oh, I forgot again. I swear I forgot. You're not going to believe me. I swear I forgot. Oh, my God. I'm going to have it. I'm going to have it next week. I'm going to have it. I'm going to have it. I forgot, man. Uh, Milady Rai Rai, thank you for the four months. You have a problem? No, the thing is, it's not... I, I guess you could call it a problem, but I'm just like... I'm that competitive of a person that... Even if, even if this was, even if this was for nothing, basically for me, right? I, I still wonder how I would have done this time around, right? Uh, I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know, man. I, maybe I do have a problem. Maybe I do have a problem, but it was just, I don't know. Throughout the entire weekend, I just had that itch, you know, of like, I, I could have been doing it. And even though it, it, it's like, it does look miserable, I also think it's kind of fun. I don't know, man. <laughs> either way, Chad, either way, we are going to, um, we are just going to, instead of, instead of tryharding the entire weekend, we're just going to try to do as best as we can today. Um, let me just log into, I have actually, I have not played at all. Uh, some people thought that I was playing, uh, because people, um, Give me a second. Where? Let me see if I can find it for you. Oh yeah, here it is. Quantal tweeted this. Uh, Quantal tweeted this. Uh, at, at like some point on, I think it was Friday. Of someone named Josh <laughs> in second place, but I think that was Herman. I think it was Herman. Um, changing his name to to whatever th he thought was funny in the moment. So like the thing is. If I was grinding, man, if I was grinding, I would have streamed it. I, you should have known that. You should have known that I would not play to friggin' 40k in the Duelist Cup without streaming it. Anyway, I was never gonna do that. Anyways. Uh, alright. Let me boot up the game. Did your opinions on decks change after watching people's runs? Um, not really. Not really, because we can talk about that a little bit as well. Uh, we can talk about that a little bit right now, actually. Because I am a little bit confused. Or like, 
I don't know. I see people I see people playing decks that I don't really agree with personally, but I mean it's going okay for them, but like well, from what I have seen is like um a lot of people have been grinding with Dragon Link recently, the last couple of days. Uh, I, I know Jesse has been on Dragon Link. I know Herman has been on Dragon Link. I personally don't really think that's a great call right now, but I mean, they've been playing way more than I have, so maybe it's been doing well for them. Um, the Pearly, Pearly, I would say, has been performing the way I expected it to uh, when I watched people play it because it was just... Um, it was relatively slow, and the, the win the win rate was okay, but it wasn't that fast. And then people have started to put a lot of counters to Pearly into their deck. Um, there's a lot of math mech. Is there really? Is there a lot of math mech? I saw the only thing with math mech that I saw. Hold up. That was also funny. Let me show you that. That was very funny. Um, where was it? Someone posted it into my Discord. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. People in my Discord have probably already seen it, but I think it was hella funny. Give me a second. This clip. This clip was great. Let me see. Uh, Dude, who the fuck designed Circular? Whoa. <laughs> I didn't even notice I was in a stream. Ryan, you multi. <laughs> 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 Who the fuck designed Circular? <laughs> Josh Viewer. <laughs> that might be that might be one of my favorite clips of all time. That might be one of my favorite streams. Uh, my fa one of my favorite clips of all time. Ryan, you just in the background molding at Circular. It's great. I feel that though. I I felt that when I watched that clip for the first time. I felt it. I felt it deep down in my soul. The pain. Uh, oh, hi. Thank you for the six months. Appreciate that. Uh, okay. So, look. Currently, we're not even ranked in the second stage. We have zero points. Um, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna follow my own advice in the beginning. Uh, we're gonna try climbing with some of the decks that I built for the, for the Duelist Cup. Uh, my first takeaway was that when I was watching people play, I felt like there was a lot of decks that would lose to Shifter and there wasn't that much cash. So I thought uh, a version of Cash Tira with Shifter would be smart. So I'm going to start doing that. That's what, that's what we're going to start with. Did you know tasks now at first? Oh, right. I wanted to take a look at the rankings. Give me, we'll do it after the first game. There is a lot of cash. Uh, I don't. Maybe it's maybe it's like that in the lower stages, but in the higher stages, like when I was watching, I was mostly watching Jesse for the weekend, or a little bit of Roar Kalos, a little bit of Raymond Die. You know, when I was watching those. Oh, this hand is phenomenal, by the way. Love that for us. Um, Uh, I feel like, I feel like we need to banish a Cash Tira this turn, and then next turn, if, if there is a next turn, we would want to take it back with Theosis, but which one would we even want here? Because, like, if I go banish Unicorn, then next turn I normal Rysard, banish Theosis, add back Unicorn, I can't use it. Uh, so I would probably have to banish, like, a Scareclaw Cash. Yeah. Not a great hand. The only one I saw playing Cash in the higher ranks is Ray. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I haven't seen people play that much Cash. There's a lot of Dragon Link, apparently. Decent amount of pearly, decent amount of... There's a decent amount of lab. I think lab might be uh, one of the decks to, to, to play. I, I think lab looks pretty good as well. Oh, we, I, think, I, I think we're about to get Numeron OTK in our very first game. Phenomenal. Yup. Uh, yup. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Sick. Okay. Let me check the rankings for a second.
80k is crazy, by the way. 80k is absolutely insane. Is this task? I think it is task, right? Because 10,000 followers, I think it's task. This is actually so insane. The fact that he's 18k above the rest right now is so insane. I, I genuinely have no explanation for that, dude. That I I genuinely have no explanation for that. That is that is so impressive. Do we know what he plays? I have no idea what he's playing. I I, I have no idea. I would just stop for a while. That's the thing, right? There is a, actually a decent chance that 80k is already enough. Like, unironically, it could be enough. Yo, okay. How many points are we at? Zero. We start. We just started. Skrelp said Task was on Pearly. That is, I, I like. I think Pearly is a good deck, but I just don't see how you get to eighty k, because the deck takes a while, right? He just has. He has to have an insane win rate then. Uh, Connor Joe, thank you for the 14 months. Appreciate you. You don't need fast wins. You just need to win. Pearly is disgusting with zero pre-hits. Uh, I mean, yeah. If you, if you have an insane... Oh my god, man. Well, if this shit happens too often, you just can't play cash, man. I mean, in the beginning, it doesn't matter, right? In the beginning, it's irrelevant. But I go first all the time. If I, if I literally don't play for the third time in a row, I'm immediately deleting the cash deck. Okay. Is that a standby phase maxi? Draw phase maxi here? Could be. I've drawn Big Bang more often than Cash Tier or Unicorn, by the way. This is the third time I've drawn. I've, I've drawn three Big Bangs in a row, right? Three, right? <laughs> Raccoon, thank you for the 16. They are deep in the tank right now on whether or not they want to drop this maxi. The thing, I think the way I'm supposed to do it is special Fenrir first. Because as soon as I activate Shifter, they might just, um, they might just maxi me. Uh, let's activate Shifter now. Okay, they didn't they didn't have maxi. Interesting. It could be lab, but even lab I feel like would want to chain the furniture to this because they want to uh they don't want to, you know. They don't want to get the furniture banished, do they? It might be loading delay, yeah. Sometimes the game is weird like that. Um, I think it's just make a rise heart and pass. 
Because we have the big bang in hand, we can't really do much else. I could banish something here to revive with uh, with birth. So it does it does play into nib. But I kind of want to end on a Rysart plus Fenrir, if I can. Right? It might be greedy to revive the Finry here to play into Nib. It might be greedy, because my hand's already pretty good under Shifter as well. Uh. Let's not. Loses to one imperm. Well, it imply it, it implies that their deck is good into shifter because we are under shifter, right? And so, like, if their deck is bad into shifter, then even imperm here isn't the problem. Uh, and if their deck is good into shifter, it means it's probably Cash Tira, which is um, like where my Book of Eclipse is insane, right? And so it's like I think it's fine. Yup, Kaiju. What is that, Mikanko? Uh, do run them, I think, with the eight months. Appreciate that. Okay, second kaiju. Sure. It's a sprite deck. It's a sprite deck? That is interesting. I wonder if I even Book of Eclipse here. I'll see. Don't get Ninja Mosquito. Well, I have Book of Eclipse. Unless they have an Ash to negate it, I don't think I'm going to die this turn. The question is just do I let them do some stuff or do I just Book of Eclipse here? Because Book of Eclipse here would pro it it might not even end their turn because they haven't normal summoned yet. Yeah, no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. So if I eclipse here and then they normal summon, they can still special jet. And they I mean it's a sprite deck. They probably have a normal summon. Oh. I'm assuming it's a blind second sprite deck with um mosquito OTK as the goal. Which does make sense, but uh, it's, like, it's crazy to see how many blind second strategies we've already seen, right? It's already been uh, three games, and it's already been two blind second decks, which is something that I did talk about in my video about the Duelist Cup as well. Does Eclipse stop Gigantic? Only if you use it before it's activated. If they activate Gigantic and you chain Eclipse, they can still detach from the face down XYZ. I tried that, it works better than expected. I, 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 yeah, that, that makes sense. Uh, they could tune into Herald here, but then I don't die. It's like, whatever. I think this just boils down to as long as I, as long as I survive, which I should. Um, I, like, the thing is, if they go battle phase now, they double here. This is 24, 27 plus. 42, it's not game with Gamma Burst right now. It's not... Uh, it's not game. Here, I might Eclipse. Why not Eclipse here? They can't do much with one monster. Well, I don't want them to draw four cards in my end phase, because I don't, I don't know if I can guarantee... I probably can't kill them next turn. You know? Uh, I think it's just Eclipse here. Do I get Ashed again? No, it's just Gamma Burst. That, that, the Gamma Burst was their delay. They don't draw for your... No, they the, only theirs get flipped back up and they only draw for those. So, Gamma Burst, 
plus two other cards in hand. Two sets. Okay. I think it's a Zeus angle. Potentially. It depends. Well, unfortunately, you get to draw three here. I hope they, didn't, they don't draw into something like... Oh, that's actually insane that they drew that. Well, Penny is here, though, so it's fine. Uh... The one thing I would be scared of is them having, like, a Cosmic Cyclone in their deck. If they have a Cosmic in their deck, we're in trouble. Nah, that's not great because we have Birth face up. That is probably one of the worst draws in our deck. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Okay, hey, we don't get Max Seed. That's good. Caddy is returned. Uh, they add one of Beaver here, I guess. Hop ear squadron, maybe. I don't think you run Hop ear. Yeah, it's the Beaver. Okay, it's the Beaver. I'm gonna trigger Fenrir to banish the one of Jet. That's limited. Doesn't go to Grave now. Do you play Fenrir in your deck? That is very, very annoying. That is so bad, man. For us. Oh, that's so bad. Come on, man. Oh, that's so bad. I can't play. Oh, can I can play a little bit. I can special a. I can go this for. What is Gamma Burst? Does Gamma Burst boost defense? It does. Okay. Gamma Burst boosts defense. Um. How would Chain Disappearance do against Pearly? Uh, it would probably do okay. But it's like, it's hard to play a trap specifically for one matchup. Oh my god, they have it. They have it all, man. Alright. Okay, we need to attack here. Because otherwise they can Gamma Burst to survive. But the Gigantic, the Gigantic definitely has to go. Are you winning? Probably not. Honestly, probably not this game. What well, depends, right? They if they have to go battle phase to out the Fenrir, then maybe. There's a chance. Nope. Okay. Uh, there is... I don't think I Fenrir here. No point.
Changing battle position on the kaiju immediately was also not correct. Because if I have another book of Eclipse, then they can't flip it back up. But it's a minor thing. Um. Banish the Fenrir, I suppose, just to get rid of it. Fine. Jeff Leonard, thank you for the tier one sub. Is that the Jeff Leonard? Or is that one of you guys making fake accounts with funny names again? Uh, that is the second blue heart draw. Sick. Which, this is... 3k... Yeah, that's game. That is game. The real one? Yo, thank you so much. Uh, let's play something else. <laughs> Let's not play cash anymore. I'm not enjoying myself. Uh, let's play some lab. Let me let me adjust my lab list a little bit. Tier one. I mean, look. I know you guys love making fun of whenever streamer loses games, but drawing three big bangs in three games in a row is also not the average. You know, the cash terra deck still is fine. Kashira is still a powerful deck in Master Duel. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <sighs> they just spent four cards to get to circular. They just spent four freaking cards to get to circular, man. And it might still be enough. <laughs> I mean, double imperm is still good here, right? Double imperm is probably still fine. Like, I imperm the circular search, so I don't have to deal with... Um, I don't have to deal with super factorial, and then I just imperm the rank four so they don't get to diameter. I think I imperm this. Because they already have a third name in the grave. I don't want to play against the... My game is being very slow right now. Weird. It is weird. Last card cross out. Dude, imagine they cross out it when I had double imperm. Imagine, man. All right, Alan Bershin. Out of here. Uh, I guess it doesn't add anything, right? Okay. 
It's still, it's Heat Soul, right? It's just Heat Soul Pass. Which is still somewhat annoying. It's still somewhat annoying, because our hand isn't that good. The, the, we can't clear the Heat Soul, so it's going to draw three freaking cards. Oh, also they get to search con- No, this is insane. This is Heat Soul, Microcoder, Search, Conflict. Oh my god, man. How? Why do I feel like logging off right now? Why do I feel like logging off right now? Someone explain why? All right, what is up, everybody? Welcome to the stream. Welcome, everybody. I decided to I decided to start a little bit sooner than usual, so we're not gonna let the entire thing run down. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Today we're playing the Duelist Cup. Hope everyone is doing great so far. Uh, we haven't played the Duelist Cup at all yet, so we're still sitting at we're still sitting at zero points. Um, so yeah, I hope everyone has been doing great so far during this weekend, and uh, we begin now. We begin climbing the Duelist Cup now for sure, for sure, for sure. Let us begin. Let us begin. Oh, this hand is nice. This hand is good. Uh, I'm trying to think. <laughs> I'm trying to think if... Oh. My bad. My bad! Uh. Do I pitch this? But then I kind of die to Ash. I think I pitched this. I don't think I shotgun anything. Gishki Abyss. Uh, probably Gishki Sprite, right? Probably Gishki Sprite. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him add first. I'll let him add. Vision. So the question is, do I try to interact with this before they get to special blue or jet? I mean, it's only three cards in 40 that is blue or jet. I am not sure if it's worth it. Because, I mean, I have Karma Cannon. I can Karma Cannon at them at any point. I think I can just let this go for now. Because in the case that they don't have blue or jet, this is pretty good for me. Never mind. Um, but even with blue or jet, I think I'm fine. Searching red is insane right now. 
instead of carrot. I mean, yeah. yeah. This Karma Cannon is about to go so freaking hard, man. It's crazy they didn't just search Carrot. If they have Reboot, I might genuinely stop streaming right now. <laughs> the thing is... Most of the stuff they do just doesn't matter here. Most of the stuff that they um, do, as long as Karma Cannon resolves, doesn't matter. Nere Manas negates monster effects, right? Not back row, yeah. So... They're playing like they have Red Reboot? I mean, a little bit, right? It seems like it, but I mean, if... The thing is, if they have Red Reboot, nothing that I do matters. So it's like, even if you even if you have that insight information, or even if you have that read on your opponent, it doesn't really... If it cannot impact your play at all, then it doesn't really matter. I mean, this, the, more, the more links they make right now, the better for me. Because they all will uh, just die to Karma Cannon. Grimness from hand. Summon Nerim on us. Bring back the vision again. I mean, they can do all this, but it just doesn't threaten any. Like, it's not. They, they're not putting up any negates for my back row. And I just gain more and more information about their hand, right? Now we already know half of their hand. Because their hand is starter, whatever they search here, and two more cards. So we only have two more unknowns. We just know more. More and more about their hand before we have... To, and, like, they're committing more and more cards into this Karma Cannon. Like, unironically, if they if they summon something like a sprite, a gigantic sprite, I might consider just using a, a back row on it. And now we know three out of their four, four cards. Nice. Three out of their four cards we know now. Phenomenal. Vision to add another ritual monster, sure. Yep. Reboot is fine if they don't OTK, which is funny because they are no, they they are not locked into attacking with only uh, rituals though because they didn't normal summon grimness. They didn't start with grimness. They started with abyss. So they could attack with everything. I'm pretty sure if they have reboot, we die. It would be so anticlimactic if they just had reboot. They don't even have another Abyss in the graveyard. What's the point of doing this? It's not that great. So we there's still one unknown card in hand and one starter, right? <laughs> Ooh, Neremanas can summon Neremanas. That's interesting. Uh, I feel like this is a good point to Karma Cannon. Even though... Ah, what's Karma Cannon? Find out if they have reboot or not. They don't.
Kek. And face. <laughs> Boggers. <laughs> all this. All this. <laughs> uh, this. I don't think they have, they have Ash. They would have probably Ashed my trap. Oh, they have Ash. Okay, that's smart. It's not going to save him, though. That was the last card in their hand. Okay. Uh, okay. We are going to activate this then. Uh, Wait, which one is which? I forgot. I don't think it matters. But I, I would like to get rid of the Sprite Red. And I'm going to give you... What is a dead card I can give them? The worst is probably Ash. Chain starter. That does not prevent anything here. That doesn't do anything. Oh no, they chained it because I then cannot respond with my lady. That was actually smart. They should have they that was correct. Yeah, that was that was correct. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was that was good. Mm. Bounce my own Ariana. It is kind of laggy, isn't it? I feel like it is. I feel like it's a little laggy. Right? Uh, I should have attacked this carrot first. I thought the red was the only level 2. I forgot that there was a thingy. Uh, how much defense do they have? This is an ash. The thingies are 1800. So we just attack with the lady. It's crazy laggy. It's actually insanely laggy, yeah. What is that? Is it because there are so many people, like, playing right now? Like, what's the... what's going on? I'm confused. It's the EU servers mainly? Okay. Um Uh this game I'm I'm throwing this game by the way because I'm I'm talking so much. Uh, I'm still, I, I think I'm still winning it, but it is, it's been kind of thrown. Like, it's been pretty bad, <laughs> what I did. We're still fine here, but, you know.
Did it get really laggy last time? No, I don't remember this ever being an issue in Master Duel. Like, for me at least, I've never... Uh, I've never had this happen. All right, we have to do some weird stuff here, I think, in order to. Uh, what could they? What could they link summon? I don't think we need to do it yet. The. What we will have to do this turn is we're gonna have to activate Welcome Lab, um, in order to force the carrot. Because otherwise the carrot can negate our Daruma cannon. Even though maybe we can let it negate the Daruma cannon and then resolve the welcome. That might be better. We'll have to see. Yeah, because if they let welcome labyrinth resolve, I get lovely and then they cannot respond to Daruma anymore. So we can make it so that Daruma resolves for sure. We let him go into the battle phase. Uh, this activates, activate welcome. Yep. Another problem is that when I activate the, the Ruma Karma Cannon now, I will not be able to, um, chain my lady, because otherwise they negate with this, right? Yeah, otherwise they negate with this, but we still do this. So the card in hand is the ritual spell, right? But we're going to be fine here either way, because they just pass. They can flip carrot, but that's pointless. You on two or one Karma Ken? I'm playing three right now, which you don't have to, but I kind of like it, this format. I'll probably just attack and then make Muckraker to revive Ariana, right? Revive Ariana uh, to search another big welcome. Another big welcome should be should seal this game up. Uh, which one do I attack first? Do I attack this or this? Probably the carrot. Because I can't kill both, because both of them are bigger than Ariana. Just bounce Ariana. I don't have a big welcome in the grave right now, otherwise it'd be hella easy. Basically... This is completely fine as long as they don't top deck another Ash. If they top deck another Ash, we just we literally just lose probably. Which uh is a 2 in 23, I guess. It's a 2 in 23 chance of losing here. I mean, we're not losing immediately because they only have a Nerem on us, nothing else, but it would be um it would be quite disgusting. Because we have so many triggers. Like, we're, we're going in so hard if this resolves. Okay. I was so scared for a second because they had some response window, man. I was so scared. Look at those. Oh, man, it's beautiful. So many triggers. Okay, pop. Bop. Uh, the thing is, it's not Maxi. I don't know what they drew. 
starter? It could be starter, but starter doesn't really threaten us at all. I think we pop the Neremanas on the board, honestly. I think we pop the Neremanas on the board, because their hand is the ritual spell plus one other card. How bad can it be? Especially since it was a chainable card. Like, starter alone is not threatening, because at least we don't get Zeus if they have starter. I think I'll just pop this. Just because it's bigger than my uh my lovely. Alright, their hand is ritual spell plus one top deck. Which was probably a quick effect. Unless it's been it's it's been super weird with the lag today. Oh no, the hand is too uh, it's too ritual monsters, not ritual spell. I forgot the ritual spell adds the monster back, not itself. So I think it's two ritual monsters. Oh. oh, they top deck the thing that tributes my cards. Cool. Is this the game where we break zero points? Probably. But they're making us work for it, man. Because they're top decking uh, pretty much exactly what they need. This is actually an insane top deck, right? Because they revive Vision now. Uh, they revive... Uh, no, not Vision. Abyss now. And they can search a level 2 to normal summon. No, they... Oh, Grimness is on special too? Oh, it is. Okay, that's crazy. Yeah. We actually have to work for this shit even more. It's actually not looking that great anymore because they top deck that um, that ritual spell. Don't worry, Farfar lost seven games before his worst win. I mean, I'm worried because this game I did play pretty bad. This game I did I did play pretty badly. This game would, should not have been this close uh, because we actually could lose now when we should never have lost. Like this should not have been this close. This game has no business being this close. It's fucked because the lag also makes you, like, misread your opponent because you think they have a response window when in reality it's just the game lagging, right? Which is awkward. Because I may I probably would have just popped the card in their hand if I didn't think it was, like, a quick play spell or, like, a, anything, like, quick effect thingy. But, yeah. Mm. Now main phase 2. It depends a little bit on how what their extra deck is like, because they've already gone through double elf. Uh, I hope they're only playing two. They've gone through... Where's Gigantic? Is Gig Didn't they use Gigantic? No, they have not used Gigantic at all, so they could still use Gigantic. Uh, they have Carrot and Red in the grave, though. Oh, they just end. Okay, that should be fine then. Oh, they play a trap for this? That's bad. Especially Gishki from your hand. Okay. Ah. Uh, this is not great.
I have a stovey in the grave. So I do want to get the chandelier into the graveyard as well. Fine. What was the last card in their hand? I forgot. Oh, that's not a good thing to forget. They have the trap card. Does Nere Manas? It does. So they activate this right now. Chain Maxi. The level two. Which one? There's like three. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Let me check. I need to know what's in their hand. They have one more ritual monster. It's, it's very important to see what the other thingy is. This one, right? This one. Add a ritual spell. Okay, that's the worst case for us. That is the worst case for us. The Gishki one. <laughs> Bro, this game should never have been this hard. I'm actually mad at myself. I'm mad at myself for how hard this game is now. Because of how bad I played. Oh. Uh, metrics, thank you for the three months. And who is he? So I think it was six. Okay, we use this after this thing bounces. Get the last big welcome. And then hopefully I think we're fine now. Uh, let me think. They have two ritual monsters in hand as well as the one that... As well as the one that... Searches ritual spell. Uh, Bravioli man, thank you for the kind words. Appreciate the sub. Uh, I go... The problem is, if I pop a card in their hand and I hit one of the ritual monsters, it's legit just a minus. It's just minus. I just don't get anything out of that. I don't get anything out of... I think I, I, I have to let them summon a ritual monster, is what, what's going on right now. That's what's going on. Gishki Shadow... This is Gishki Shadow number three. This is the last Gishki Shadow. I have to think after this resolution. Because they have Aquamir. If I go welcome now, I summon Ariana. Uh, I don't search because I want to draw. I go big welcome, summon lovely, bounce, Stovey, draw one, pop one in their hand. No, I, that's, not, that's not cutting it. I have to let them play. I have to let them play a little bit. 
How is this game so grindy, man? I misplayed so hard earlier. It should never be this hard. Uh... Target a water in the grave, special summon it. I don't... I don't think I need to skill drain here, or I don't want to skill drain, because their shit is unironically just bigger than my stuff. Which is somewhat of a problem, because it's not an extra deck monster, so bouncing it back to hand, they, they'll just resummon it later. I don't think I skill drain here. I don't skill drain here. Let him, let him cook. Sure. Do your thing. Because they run out of targets eventually. Surely. Go. Go for it, go for it, go for it. There's no more shadows now. Yeah, it's just another Grimness. Yep. Two useless cards in hand. Two useless cards in hand. It depends a little bit on the extra deck. There's 12 cards in their extra deck. How is there nothing there? End of main. Battle phase. Sure. Um... Why let the Stovey Torby go down? I don't. Oh my god, that's so bad. Oh my god, man. Oh. <sighs> I deserve this. I deserve every single bit of pain I'm feeling right now. Because I could have ended this game so much quicker. Uh, I mean, I, th I think we still win, but it still is. That was incredibly painful. And I've also said that like 10 times and they keep top decking out of it. Sprint. Uh, cards in hand, Grimness plus another Neremanas, right? Yeah. 
Cards in hand are Nere Manas and Grimness. So now we probably just have it. Now we probably just have it, finally. I'm pretty low on freaking uh time. Nine seconds. The hell. God damn it, man. God damn it, man. Whew. The freaking game that was. Not proud of that one. I'm not proud of that one. Well, here we are. <laughs> Good first game. Good first game. Yo, Phil can't survive. And uh, Messi Nessie, thank you for the um, subs. Appreciate that. Ooh, that's a nice hand. 50 cards, though. If we, we lost both Garuas, which could be annoying, but fine. All right. Well, the good thing is, uh, they ashed my extravagance, which means they can't ash my big welcome labyrinth. Unless they play Bell, that'd be so cruel here. If they Bell me right now... If they Bell me right now, I'm literally screaming. Bro, it's so laggy. It's so laggy. It's actually annoying. It's actually annoying. I think that would genuinely, I would lose my mind if I was trying to grind right now. Like, if I was trying, if I was, like, on a timer and everything. Oh, my God. Dinosaurs, man. I would genuinely be so upset right now about that. I would be so upset about the lag. All right. Could have popped baby. Imagine. Imagine I popped baby Cerasaurus right there. Thank God I did not. I mean, Giant Rex in their grave is also not great for me, but, you know, it is what it is. Fenrir. You know, Fenrir is actually a little bit annoying. I'm considering going Overroot on this thing. Overroot. Pop it, set a giant rax for them to get it out of the graveyard. I'm not too upset about that play. The only downside is that we could potentially, like if I, I'm going to trigger this after, and if we pop a baby in their hand, I'm going to be so, so sad. But we will just not do that. We will simply, um, we will simply not do that. In which case, honestly, though, I should have probably used Welcome first to get Lady. I should have probably done that.
a good draw. Ha! We didn't pop a baby, we popped banquet tops. We're the best. We're the best. Scrap Raptor. Uh, I think they can just have that back, honestly. You can have that back. Take it back. Goodbye. Goodbye. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, this deck probably wants called by the grave somewhere. Called by seems pretty good in this deck. Um, I wonder what I'm taking out though. Like, and I also, I kind of want the second lady. I kind of want the second lady. Take out some of the rumors. We could out we could take out some of the rumors. We could take out the gamma package, but that seems pretty nice. Imperm doesn't seem that powerful right now. We could go one of the rumor. One of the rumor. Maybe punishment. I like punishment. No Fenrir. Fenrir is also good in this deck. Fenrir is also strong. Let's try it. I do like Gamma, but never drawing Driver is also kind of nice. Strike. Strike, unironically, is also not bad in lab because of how much of a problem Ash can be. I think Strike is okay. Because Strike going first is just always really, really powerful. Going second is just not very good, though. Extra deck side. Yeah, I guess we should have cut the Omega then. Yeah. Augers, hand good. Well, actually, called by on Ash isn't even that great for us because we have our own, but I mean, we'll take it. We still prefer if they don't have it, of course. Mmm. Well. How do you like Gamma in lab? I like it. Well, the thing about Gamma is always, um, you like drawing the Gamma most of the time, uh, and you don't like drawing the Driver most of the time. So in some decks, it's worth it, and in some decks, it's not. The, the risk, like, basically. And the reward is a little bit lower in when you only have two gamma available. I liked it a lot. I thought it was... Oh! Oh, oh my god, dude. I didn't toggle on, man. Okay, that's nice. We actually trade with another back row here. That's actually good. We get another bonus. It's the thing is it's so annoying, man. If I just had if I just had the freaking toggle on, man. Talking to chat. This is exactly why I was mostly muted for when I seriously did the grind, right? Cuz right now I don't really care that much, right? It, it hurts a little bit. Deep down in my soul, but it's it's fine. Chat fault. It's not your fault. It's just naturally what happens when you um you know when you talk while playing. 
you're less focused. It's a very normal thing. Afterburner. I'm losing to, Sk to Sky Striker right now, chat. I'm losing to Sky Striker. That's a problem. We'll ash this. I mean, we could still win this. Ooh. So, what's the best way to do this? What's the best way to do this? If I just attack the Shizuku, I banish it with Fenrir, they activate Ray, I called by it. I guess that's what I have to do. Fenrir, no, no, Fenrir doesn't trigger in the damage step, otherwise it'd be fine. But like, I think we just... We just go attack... Effect... And then when they trigger Ray, we have to go called by. And then we just hope that we uh, we win with a single Fenrir. Well, we have a backup Fenrir. <laughs> it would be so Jover if I had gone for the Eradicator. If I had toggled on, it'd be so GG. It would be so over, man. <laughs> what the hell is that copy pasta? Stop it! Alright, end phase. Just pass. Cool. Hello, big welcome labyrinth. Welcome to my hand. Um... We're gonna go for a little gambit here, which might think might seem odd, and you should never do it. We're gonna set before the battle phase, uh, because I want them to evenly me right now. It'd be so bad if they even need me right now. If they evenly here, it's the worst play ever. Okay, they don't. Because I would just banish Fenrir and summon another Fenrir. But normally you don't want to set in main phase one. Chat, will people riot until the sub sound is fixed? I yeah, I forgot. I I swear I forgot. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They will simply not hit engage. That's a lot of good hits, man. Oh, that's some, that's some juicy hits. Have a kid or watch Josh. Okay, are those the only two options you have? Is it like... Why is that like... Why are they exclusive to each other? Why is it like... Why can't you do both? Kind of situation, you know what I mean? Are you implying Josh viewers uh, are not capable of getting kids because they, you know, they don't get, uh, they don't find partners? Is that what's happening? Yep. There's a lot of yeps right now in chat. I don't like that. I don't like, I don't like the perception that we have of our, of our community here. Uh, I also want to bring your guys' attention to the fact that they... Area zeroed the Harpy's Feather Duster, which is concerning because that somehow means they don't care about my back row? And now they're just deep in the tank. I mean, the thing is, like, the Fenrir is genuinely a problem for me. I also don't know why they didn't go for multi-roll. Multi-roll was insane right there. Multi-roll, pop, area zero, summon ray was crazy. That was so much better than going for rose.
All right, Hayate. Uh, Hayate, I will probably prevent in the battle phase. However, however, uh, if I go big welcome right now, uh, and I go lovely, bounce my Fenrir back, I legit lose if they have Widow Anchor in hand. I'm dead. I'm dead to Widow Anchor. Because then, Widow Anchor is the third spell in the grave. Um, Widow Anchor is the third spell in the grave. They can go Hayate, send Engage. Yeah, I can't do that. I cannot do that. I cannot risk that. I literally die. I die to, uh, to Widow Anchor here. If I do it. If you want to use Big Welcome, you should have popped Rose. No, why? They don't have Ray in the graveyard. I could have popped the Hayate in the battle phase. Same thing. If I wanted to do that. They can't... Oh, because they can't Widow Anchor, right? Uh, yeah, 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 right. No, you're right, you're right. You're right. So they have to send Ray here, which is a good sign for us. No engage. No engage is good for us. Ooh, they go for Kagari. Okay, I think I banished that Kagari. Yeah, I think I banished this Kagari. I could also banish the Area Zero. Which could prove valuable in the long run. Banishing this Kagari though... No, I have to banish the Kagari. The Ray is gonna come back. The Ray is gonna come back now. But that's fine, because... Now I can pop the Shizuku that comes out of it, right? Like, if they make a Shizuku, I can then pop it with Big Wall come into Lovely. Whereas, if I banish the Field spell and they then make Shizuku, if I pop the Shizuku, the Ray comes back and then I don't have an out to the Ray. It's fine. Well, they have an Afterburner, but it's not really... Not really doing anything here. End phase. Okay. They search engage. Okay. Do I big welcome here? I don't think so. I don't think I do it here. I think I wait. Ooh. The question is, what do I add? Adding lady... Adding lady is fine. If they have Ash on the big welcome, Lady is a little troll to spare. Field? I don't like field here. I don't want to pop with the field spell. It doesn't seem worth it. Okay, no Ash. Game is over. Sky Striker really is the only deck that can like evenly summon for five cards and still lose the game. It's kind of crazy. It's pretty impressive to be honest. Uh, I think Overwood is really good in this matchup. Then we summon back Lovely. Trigger this. Uh, I, I think we do destroy in hand. 
Oh, oh god, okay. Sphere mode. Okay, so their hand is Afterburner and Engage. Their hand is Afterburner and Engage. That's fine. What's actually crazy is that the freaking sphere mode would have been pretty good here. <laughs> uh, that's actually almost, that was almost scary. Uh, they have no thingy. If I, I want to banish the field spell here. I kind of want to banish the field spell. But then they might, they might keep a uh, Kaina around. But this force is Kaina. Uh, toast from below. Thank you for the six months. I think that Arias is pretty good. Yeah, I think Arias is gonna find its way into lab. If lab is viable, I think it's gonna be with Arias. Maybe it's a one of that's searchable sometimes, but I like it. I think it just makes the grind game even stronger. Okay, they have to go Kaina here, which is good. No Shizuku shenanigans. That's fine. I don't care about this. So engage and afterburner in hand. Um, let me see. Let me think about this for a second. Will I shotgun? Eradicator is banished, so I can't set it up right now. Otherwise, I could. Uh, I kind of want to just. I kind of want to just overroot them and set a, a raid to their field. Like overroot here. Should theor theoretically just end the game, right? Overroot should should just be it. This, this, um, uh, might as well chain here. Get. Doesn't really matter, I don't think. We set Ray to their field. Overall, this overall is so good against Sky Striker, man. We pop Afterburner. We knew about Afterburner, but they they have a dead engage and the top deck in hand, so like whatever. <laughs> That's so funny, man. That is the funniest card you could have drawn. You have exactly five, too. Oh my god, man. <laughs> yeah, what am I supposed to do, man? <laughs> Rhoda, sure. <laughs> How do you top deck part of Avers right there, man? How is that legal? How is it a legal thing to do? I feel like it's not. That, that did not feel legal. Losing the striker. We're not losing the strikers, chat. We're still not losing the striker. They are prepared for the grinding game? Well, we are definitely grinding right now, yeah. We are definitely grinding. <laughs> I don't think Lab can lose Striker. I mean, look, chat, if there was any game that Lab could have lost to Striker, it was this one. Our opener wasn't that insane. They even lead our board of five cards, and they still lost. Because, and I was toggled off in the battle phase, so I forgot I couldn't activate my big welcome before the evenly. Like, that was the best chance that Sky Striker has ever had to defeat Labyrinth. And they still, they still choked it. Imagine I lose to Slash Draw again. I imagine if we get Slash Drawn again. Uh, 
I don't want that to happen. That's like the, the that that is that is my nightmare. Kagari, technically, oh, they they want multi roll to free their 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 zone. We're not gonna allow that. We're not gonna allow it. Well, we can't do anything about it actually. Uh, Fenrir, banish this. That imperm is fresh, yeah. Okay, now we're being engaged on. Can't you get to Ku Clock? I could have, but I was talking to Chad instead. I could have done it before they made Kagari, but after they made Kagari, it was too late. It didn't make sense. Uh, sure. Bro! There's no way I spoke too soon, right? There's no way I spoke too soon. There's no way I actually lose this game. To, like, engage into engage. Like, avarice into engage into engage. Hoggers. Regeki. Insane. End phase. You're giving both of those back? Good lord, what? Okay, we won. <laughs> At last. At last, we won. So the card in hand is jamming waves. Yeah, yeah, the card in hand is jamming waves. We won. <laughs> Give back. Give it back. They literally click at every single possible moment when anything glows yellow, they click it. They will click it. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay. God damn it, man. That was actually crazy. That if you ever needed a showcase of why Sky Striker does not work in 2023 anymore, it was that. I I tried throwing that game so hard. You know, I spent more time looking at chat during that game than I than I took time looking at the screen. Okay, let's actually focus a little bit. Let's actually let's actually focus a little bit. Can we get some Nat Runic? Uh I I could actually maybe play a little bit of everything today, because I mean, you know. But let me actually let me actually focus on on playing decent for for a change.
Can we get wheel? Uh, not during the duelist cup. We can do it at some point during the week, though, for sure. One thing I don't like about these hands that I'm drawing is that whenever I like most of these hands I'm drawing, I'm looking at them and I'm like, going second, this would not fare well. But we're going first, so we are just the best. Um. It might be normal summon Chandelier set 3 here. I don't really know what I want to discard for Chandelier. Summon Chandelier set 3 seems fine. I mean, we have Maxi, Ash, Called by, Punishment, even if the big welcome gets somehow stopped. I think we're fine. I mean, I could set welcome with this, but I don't. I didn't really want to discard any of my cards here. I could have discarded Ash, but I kind of want to keep Ash, you know. As long as, as long as I just Ash before I use my big welcome, even if I have to call by their Ash, it's fine because I just use my Ash first, right? Is what I'll try. Or not. Or I will simply not do that. Why not wait for end phase? Because I'm scared of card of the mice. I do not want to get card of the mice and not be able to ash it. That is what I'm scared of. Set one more. Set one more. See what happens. Do it. Do it. Let's see if they, if they are smart. If they are smart, they set card of demise instead of keeping it as the last card in hand. Imagine if they set demise and then you, that would actually be the correct play. By the way, it would actually be the correct play. Oh, it was fear mode actually. Okay. Set demise. Did they set demise? Are you smart like that? Are you smart like that? Oh, it's just Messenger of Peace. Okay. <laughs> Messenger of Peace. Kick. Sure. Sure. I don't think we're going to need this max C chat. I don't think we will need it. Uh, Welcome, lab. Ah, Bloss. Uh, go welcome lab. They have Tikaboo. I guess I might have to bounce it with the big welcome. I don't really want to do that though. I really don't want to. Organism is one of the more annoying cards to have here. Unironically, that is pretty annoying. 
because I cannot abuse Lovely right now to pop all their cards. That is actually annoying. I don't need to worry about it right now. Not yet. Do I play Phoenix in this? I do play Phoenix in this. Maybe it's a Phoenix angle. Phoenix pop that card. I don't mind. I don't I don't hate this. Um you use punishment. Oh, right, right, right. Not this turn, though. Not this turn. Yeah, you're right. Um, uh, big welcome. Okay, I, I got it. I, I got I got to search the field spell. Then I use big welcome to bounce the floodgate. Activate this, and then I use Lovely to reset regular welcome. And then we have the field spell rolling, and then we can keep popping their stuff. I think that's it. Unless they have another organism. Or like skill drain, right? So we reset welcome lab, because punishment isn't great in this matchup. They might not have another monster for a while. Oh, that's so fucked, man. That's so fucked. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know why you did that. You genuinely had me locked down. Like, all my cards were dead, but okay. Average, average stun enjoyer, man. Average stun enjoyer. Like, I literally, I couldn't attack you. All my shit was negated. God damn, man. I don't know why they scooped. I genuinely don't know why they scooped. I think they were favored to win there. Unironically, they were favored to win there because I need to draw another big welcome. Otherwise, I never get out of this shit. Like, I need to draw welcome or big welcome or furniture. And if I don't, I lose. I simply lose if I don't find another welcome card. Ooh. No shot, you lose it. And ironically, if they top deck well, I mean, I have some time until like they have. They need to top deck really insane because I have two ashes, right? I can, I can stop like the mice top deck and stuff like that. But still, there's a chance they win that. And ironically, there's a chance they win that. Cause even though I had a lot of welcome cards in my deck, there's no guarantee I find them, right? If I don't find a welcome lab, I just don't play. Do we commit into Ash here? Oh, it's so tough to commit into Ash. Uh, Castanial level, think of the six months. We can do that at some point. That sounds fun, yeah. Man, I, I don't think I have it in me to grab a big welcome here. Because... Uh, to grab uh, Ku Clock. I think it's just Welcome, Stovey for Stovey for Big Welcome, and then activate all. Like set set two. I like going for the Ku Clock line here is so unnecessarily greedy. I feel like. I think it's so unnecess unnecessarily greedy because we're passing on Field Spell, both traps, Fenrir, Maxi. It's such a good opener. It's such a good opener. Like. It's so strong. There's no way. Toggle on? I Do I? Do I shotgun? I don't think I shotgun because I have the field spell. I want to pop something with my, with my stuff. I don't think it's a toggle on situation right now. Don't think it's a toggle. Maybe toggle max C could be a thing. In case battle phase? Well, oh my god, what is that? Special summon a Preda from your hand. Add a Preda card. They did not stop this. Cool. They summon Biblith. Biblith. Uh, okay. If this card is sent to the grave, add a Predaplant monster. 
Preferably would like to banish this with Fenrir if possible. During your main phase, fusion summon a dark fusion. Uh, I kind of like... Welcome lab here? Welcome lab! Welcome lab, summon lady. Big welcome, chain lady, summon lovely, bounce la lady. Uh, draw... Pop this with the field spell. Pop one in their hand. Don't put Lady in Anima Zone. They're locked into fusions, no? This thing? Yeah, they're locked into fusions. Actually, uh, I don't need to, to do all the other stuff yet. Can't I just wait for now, not play into Talons at all? Because right now, I've only... Well, no, I maxed it in the main phase. Talons is life anyway, so I might as well use this. And this. Uh, the question is just, do I need to go big welcome here? Because so far... I would pop a random card in their hand. Do I need to pop a random card in their hand? Mask change two. Mask change two. Uh, yes. Bib lift Dark Law. Banish a random card from my hand. Poor thing, buddy. I ain't reading all that. I ain't reading all that. No way. Okay, maybe I am reading it. While this card's in your pendulum zone, if you fusion summon a dark fusion, you can use cards in your pendulum zone as monsters for its material. Okay, uh, okay. Good. Okay, we've just said pendulum skills. Uh, I think I just pop this thing. I'll just pop the Bufo Licula. I'll just pop the Bufo Licula. Uh, let me set this. <laughs> oh my god, man. This game is such a freaking joke sometimes. This is a 50 card deck. This is a 50 card deck, chat. I think we could have eradicated. Uh, maybe. But, I mean, the thing is... As long as we draw the Ku Clock eventually, I don't think it's going to be a big problem. Because they're still under Maxi and we have all this shit. I don't think... I don't know what the hell happens here. I just know the Fusion Monster is busted. I don't think we could have could have gotten to Eradicator. I mean, we could have definitely gotten for it. Gone for it, but... Um, I just figured this was good enough, man.
Number one is at 84k points. How is it possible? That is in incredibly impressive. I can't, I can't say, I can't state enough how impressive that is. Oh, Ku cool Clock. Uh, hold up. If a Prada plant's on the field, fusion summon a dark fusion from extra deck using monsters from either field as material. Uh, you can target one monster you can with a Prada counter or one monster you control tributed and if you do spares. I think I just get rid of this shit, right? Actually. It's a quick play fusion. Well, yeah. Oh, maybe I'll just not use it now. Okay. Now what happens here, man? Is is this search at least once per turn? Yeah, okay. So there's no more hidden effects here, right? Three, trifle, whatever. I have no idea what's going on with, with freaking Preda plants. What the hell is he doing? This thing is 8,000. Monka Christ. Uh... You have have a mass change too. Have a mass change too, brother. Here. Enjoy. So this comes back now in defense positions, whatever. Yup, there we go. The hell was that, man? Thank God that max E result. Their hand was crazy. Their hand was crazy. Just 80k to go. True. True. Ooh. Ooh. Good lord. The hell is this hand, man? Oh, yeah. Sure. I love when my opponents go neg one. Sick. Hell yeah. God, yes. Ba, ba, ba. 
40 card deck. Oh, we'll see. Early. I don't really want to start with skill drain here because like I have so many other powerful interruptions. I kind of want to use my skill drain last. I want to use my skill drain last. We're going to see. Of course they hit. Of course they hit. Skill drain and FDK though. Yeah, but we might as well like, you know, check if they have an ash and so on and so forth, you know, and then skill drain them after the fact. They grab the trap card. The trap card is has been grabbed. Sure. My friend Pearly. Uh my friend Pearly. Uh, I'm summoning this right here so that they can't like ho cheeky hold Ash for the second one, right? Because if I summon uh, Lady, they might be able to do that, right? If I go like Lady is the greedier way here, like su summon Lady to get another set off of Big Welcome is the greedier line. I don't think I need to do any of that though with this setup. Like, I don't see them playing through this at all. I, I think uh, we are just fine here with uh what what we have because now they can't ash big welcome anymore that means we guaranteed get a pop of lovely a draw of ariana there's just no world <sighs> let's maxi here Uh, they don't really have the option to not summon. I mean, they can not summon here, but, like, it's, like, basically admitting defeat. Uh, one other nice thing, I guess now the, uh, now the, now potential talents or thrust would be live, I guess. Mm -mm -mm. The nice thing is that we, we, we didn't pop the my friend on activation of the card we popped it on activation of the effect which means they can't search another my friend which is why that's exactly why i did it that way um stray pearly street stray pearly street yeah They go for delicious memory. Interesting. So they have the trap in hand, plus one more. Maxi is active. Do I want to pop right here? Not, not yet.
I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to pop here, because I'm not really afraid of the monsters at all. I could pop the field spell. I think I can also try to pop the card in hand. Because it's either either I hit the trap. Yeah, I'll hit I'll hit the opponent's hand. Oh, we hit Imperm. Okay, the last card in hand is the trap then. Uh Let's game. I guess if you were trying to play as fast as possible, you could just activate skill drain right away and hope that they surrender. This, I think this was the optimal way to play out the turn. Even though skill drain immediately looking at their hand, they probably would have just scooped. So we would have saved like two minutes or something. So for the optimal speedrun routing, maybe it was correct to just activate skill drain. Nessie going hard in chat right now? Yeah, that's what happens when, when Farfa isn't live, right? They have to go somewhere. The people have to go somewhere. <laughs> he is live? Oh, he is. Okay. Are they aware of the skill drain interaction? Or, like, who who tells them? Who's gonna tell them? Who's gonna tell them, chat? Are you gonna chain to get one draw of? Should we give the draw to... I know, I'm not gonna give them the draw. No, you're not getting the draw. Nope. 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 You're not getting it. I don't care. Oh no, you're getting the draw. You're just not getting the noir. You're getting the draw, right? We're giving them the draw. We're being nice. You can have the draw. Draw one card. Draw one card, good sir. Skill Drain is here, my friend. What are you doing? <laughs> God damn it, man. I will keep activating my effects. The thing is, even if he draws, can you think of two cards they can draw to still win? It would have to be, okay, number one, Duster. What's the other card? There's none. There's none, right? It'd be Duster. It would have to be like Desires plus Duster plus whatever. But even then, there's nothing. Because if they go Duster, if they go Duster, I chain Big Welcome, and then I trigger Ariana and Lovely and take another card out of their hand. So, even if it's Duster plus Black Cat, that doesn't win. It would have to be Duster plus Desires into Black Cat plus another card, and I have to miss the Black Cat. And even then, I don't think it wins. Even then, I don't think it wins, chat.
Why not normal sound gender? I miscalc I miscalc by a thousand. I thought this was 65, not 75. I miscalc. It's fine. But I knew it was I knew it was irrelevant anyways, so it's fine. It was extended BM. It was extended BM. Bro, we keep winning those coin flips, though. Holy. How many coin flips have we won in a row now? Four? Good hand. Draw face Maximi again, Margaret. Come on. No. This hand could have shotgunned Eradicator. Oh. Oh. Thank God I didn't shotgun Eradicator. Oh, yes. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Um. Pop. They're going to be so incredibly sad, man. <laughs> imagine it's all spells. Yeah, imagine it's all spells. Uh, this one almost activated the wrong one. Oh, Waboku. You're trying to hit me with the Waboku? The hell is this chain burn? Do you mean the Boku, man? Gladiator Beast? Holy shit, what is this? Okay, show me your trap cards. Yup, 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 yup. No, they kept one. Unfortunate. We got high rolled, chat. We got high rolled. It's very unfortunate. <laughs> Bro, that deck was from 13 years ago, man. Chain burn. Can you believe that? Holy shit, they just queued chain burn. They just queued chain burn. Bro. We're a professional coin flipper, chat. A professional coin flipper. I, I hate when I hover their deck and it says 40 and I'm like, that's reasonable. But then I realize, oh, they have five cards in their hand already. So it's not reasonable at all whatsoever. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop. We've been ashed. I don't like the fact that we've been Ash right now. I am not sure if I like this situation anymore that much. Uh, I think... Because Stovey Torby is kind of cringe here. I don't want to discard. I think it's just set these two and hope that pop two is enough. 
I mean, pop two max C is like not too bad though. Not great though. This card to set another regular. I could have gone for that to get both. Ah, maybe that was better. That could have been better to just set another welcome lab so that we have both in rotation so they keep resetting from each other. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, it's a sword soul angle, chat. It's a sword soul angle. Uh, okay. The the forty five card sword soul technology. Let's see. Rage, rage, hold, hold. No problem, chat. No problem. No problem whatsoever. Uh, and I think we just go for the welcome. I don't want them to go Shishao here. Like, because it's... I get one draw, they get a search and a draw, and a Shishao. I don't want that. I don't want none of that. I'm, I'm welcoming. That's fine. That's fine. 45 cards, by the way. Ash, Maxi, Emergence. And they're not even sorry about it. They're not even sorry about it, chat. It's the worst part. Get that desires out of here. Get that draw two out of here. Get that out of my face. You're not drawing two cards right now. You are. You might be drawing two cards right now. Oh, sorry. I, I take it. I'll take it back. You you can draw two cards right now. You can draw two. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh no. Okay. Ah! Chain furniture. Look at my hand. Look at my wonderful hand. Okay, but I'm scared. They have Adhara and one more. Is it Long Yan? Do they really have Long John in 45 cards? Did they really go? <laughs> did they really draw Ash, Maxi, Emergence, Desires, Talents, Long Yan? No, they didn't. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful game. I'm glad we talked about that. Okay. <laughs> I would have drawn Ku Clock on the next uh, special summon, too. I'm the best. Blackout. That's fine. It is fucked up, but it's fine. How, how long does it take for the trigger window to come up? What the hell, man? Like, actually, what the hell? Okay. Bye-bye. The servers are dead. The servers are actually dying. Servers have been struggling the whole weekend? Yeah, that's the... Like, how many fucking coin flips? Uh, it's the weird part about, like... That's the worst weekend to have your servers be struggling, is the DC Cup weekend, man. No, we've drawn lovely for the first time, man. 
We're so bad at this game. It's unfortunate. It truly is unfortunate. F. The Gamma. Uh... Oh, the Gamma is actually very cringe. Uh, hold max. So they're playing 40 cards. Gamma is most popular in lab. Against lab, I would much prefer to draw the card now, I think. Because... I mean, there's not that many crazy things I can draw, though. But, like, getting the guaranteed draw here... Dragon Link plays it, too. Dragon Link is mostly more than 40, though, right? Mostly more than 40, I would say. Uh, but the thing is... I think... I think I'll let it slide, because I they can only negate Maxi with their own um, called by. Because if they have Ash, I can called by the Ash to make sure... Ah! Ah! <laughs> Nice. How long did that set take? How long did that freaking set take? Monka Christ. Albion! It's Brandon. Okay, that makes sense. Is Lord of the Heavenly Prison goaded in this deck? It's playable. I wouldn't say it's goaded, but it's 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 decent. Uh why why does our hand have to suck so bad against Brandon out of all things? Oh. Oh. Okay. Um well, we definitely end phase big welcome, right? We definitely end phase big welcome. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nah. Nah. Be gone. Sure. Draw one card. Enjoy. Enjoy the end phase upstart goblin. The the crazy thing is our hand still isn't that good. Our hand still doesn't do all that much. Uh do I summon an Ariana from my I think I summoned one from the deck because I don't want to draw into one right now. I guess what this does do, which I have not considered, is they could called by my Ariana now. Ah, maybe I should have gotten Ariana from the grave. Maybe I should have gotten it... Ah, hello. Maybe I should have gotten it from the graveyard. I sh I think I should have gotten it from the grave just to play around called by. Because that, that deck definitely plays called by, right? That's a one very likely card to be there. Mm, no purse. <laughs> Bro, come on, man. What is this? Are we hacker, man? What happens? Holy shit, what's going on? We're going to Worlds, chat. Only 80 more coin flips. Only 80 more coin flips, and we're there. Rigged ass game, Donald Trump. <laughs> Dude, I love that video so much. Uh, rigged ass game. Oh, there's something. There is something. Monka S. Monka S. Ash. Ash. 
Okay, well. Bob. Bob. <sighs> Big welcome. Two clock special summon. Big welcome. It's not that good of a start chat, actually. It's not that good. It's like fine. It's fine, but it's not phenomenal. I think we're going to reset Imperm and keep Big Welcome in the grave just to have two forms of disruption. It looks better that way. Pop yourself. Scareclaw Arrival. Ooh, that's a scary deck to go up against. Uh, no pun intended, actually. Uh, All right. Fine. Has Josh talked about being wrong about cash? What what the, what the hell do you what the hell do you mean? I still think cash is good for this event. I still think it's fine. Um Is this an ash situation? I kind of don't want them to have the right card, if possible. I think it's fine to ash this. I think it's fine to ash this. Okay, end phase. People pog. With a fun deck like Math Make, you say. With a fun deck like Mathmic, you say. Hmm. I think I'll pass. I think I'll pass on that. I think I'll pass on that. Yeah, they couldn't do it on uh, on welcome. Okay, we know there's a scare claw in hand. That's all. There's a scare claw in hand, and that's it. Actually, I'm not sure if I like... Oh, no, it's fine. 
because we can get welcome i was like i don't like grabbing the field spell because if they top deck ash they might be able to play but now because we have both welcomes they will not uh this can go back to hand just make sure not to special summon it so they don't draw a card oh yeah they can't ash anyways because i have lovely yeah never mind it's it's over it's jover it's just like sometimes when i'm so in such a dominant position i try to think of the the possible top decks for my opponent that could get them out of it and then sometimes you miss little things like oh he could top deck ash but then in reality he can't or they can't because you know i have a lovely but it is what it is fine here Evenly would go hard. Evenly would go so hard with a field spell up. Yeah, it would be so good. It would be the best evenly. I cannot think of a harder evenly than that. I'm just curious to see how many wins in a row we can get with Labyrinth and how many flips in a row we can win. I just want this to never end. Yeah, it just doesn't end. It's, it just doesn't end. Bro, stop drawing the lovely, man. For the love of God. Uh, activate Ku Clock, Chandelier pitch the two, set big. If big gets ashed, what do we do? If big gets ashed, what do we want to have? Do we want to have a backup big welcome? Backup big welcome seems like what I want. Go for the muckraker line. So what you're saying is if the big welcome gets, I can... So, okay, pitch Ku Clock, Chandelier, bring back Ku Clock, set Big Welcome, activate Big Welcome, they Ash. I go Muckraker, discard one to bring back the Lovely. I like that. Um, lovely on the field, but what would I want at this card then? What would I want at this card? A Welcome Lab? Make the Muck first. Make Muck first, summon back Lovely. Right. I think you're spitting. I think you're spitting. Give me a second. This sucks against the Bestial. It does suck against the Bestial. But if not... Well, no, we can chain Big Welcome, actually. It's live already. Special Simone. They didn't have shit though, chat. They didn't have anything. If I make Muckraker here to play around Ash. Muckraker to play around Ash. Muckraker, lovely. Activate this. Summon. Ah, that's fine. We don't need to risk it. Maybe they are a toggle Andy. Maybe they're a toggle Andy.
Yeah, the bestial would have fucked us here. Bestial would have destroyed us. Because I couldn't have activated it right now. Because you need a labyrinth monster with Ku Clock. Uh, I'm not sure if this is better than just activate, just running it, just running the big welcome. You know, you could have just, we could have just, we could have just run it. Okay, it's serious. It's serious. We need to sit upright. We need to sit upright, chat. It's very serious. Okay, uh... We activate lady. I don't think we shotgun anything. We should be fine here, realistically, but let's see. We also popped circular first thing, which is funny. It's funny as hell that we did that. Unless they have two, which would make it significantly less funny. I would argue it would be even funnier. Yeah, I know you think that. I know you would think that. No, we lost the coin flip. The game is bugged. Chat, the game is bugged. How? It's fine. We drew Maxi. It's fine. 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 Annoying. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. Theo sus. Okay. A small little problem has ensued. Man, we should have won that coin flip, man. We should have won that coin flip. That was a huge mistake. It was a huge mistake. Lab is everywhere, so not shotgunning Maxi is reasonable. It's not just about that. It's also about the fact that there's a lot of Gamma. And there's, like, not that many Cash Tiras, right? We, we've played, like, what, 15 games now? Actually, no. We've played nine games. We don't talk about the first couple. Uh, we've played nine games, and there was, like, no Cash Tiras. Big bang. Okay, we lost one of punishment. That's manageable, though. It's not that important against cash. It could be annoying, but it's not, not too big of a deal. Uh, I think I have to use my furniture now. Otherwise, it gets banished. I don't want that. Right?
wait until you start running into the red reboot meta. I mean, I am planning on switching it up. I think that's always that that always has to be your plan is when you go into the event, you have a certain list ready, you have a certain plan ready, and then uh you know, you change things up as different stuff keeps happening, right? You just like the the meta is changing in these kind of events. You have to be able to change uh and play something else if you notice whatever you're doing isn't working. Is Fenrir face-up cards? Yes, Fenrir can only banish face-up cards. Otherwise, this play would not really make sense. Yeah. Okay, they're going to be able to add Big Bang back to their hand, which is annoying. Jesse switched from lab to D-Link. Uh, I mean, I was watching a, a fair part of Jesse's climb. But I honestly don't really see why it would be Dragon Link out of all decks in this sort of format. I really don't see it. It's not a bad deck, but I don't really know why it's like your deck of choice. You should. Why are you not making a Rise Hard? Now I get Big Welcome in the graveyard. It's like actually not that bad now. Also, you didn't add back with the Theosis that you banished. Bro, how does one draw like this with Cash Tira? How does one do that? Can someone explain? Because I was not able to. I was not able to do that at all. Uh, TGR, thank you for the 11. And OER, thank you for the 16 months. Appreciate the subs, guys. Thank you for supporting the stream. God damn, is that an F0 in your Cash Tira deck? That is... Problematic. Uh, that is a problem. I would call that a problem. I think it's fair. I think it's fair to go ahead and call that a problem. Uh, Rollcap BG, thank you for the Prime. And Grey Jetty, thank you for the Tier 1 sub. Appreciate you guys. Alright, there's the Dra Draco Future. Bro, a pointer with a rice heart is such a nasty combo. The fact that they get to banish my card and just uh, reattach it is so disgusting to me right now. I am so disgusted right now. Yeah. Good God. The hard draw. The hard draw thing. It's so... It's frustrating, man. It's actually frustrating because the third material under a rice heart hard counters me right now. It hard counters me. Like, I go normal summon, activate effect, they chain this, I chain welcome in the grave, which shouldn't be in the graveyard, it's only there because they fucked up. Uh, and then they can they can banish my Ariana so I don't get the bounce through. Even if, even though, even if it has less material, I don't think I'm winning, but still. Yeah. That's fine, that happens. Their hand was actually godlike, man. Without the appointer, there's a small chance we can win. Because they couldn't banish my Karma Cannon, because they didn't have enough materials on the Arise Art. Like, it was actually not impossible. Uh, Great Jedi, Snowflake, and Slaxar. Thank you guys for the primes. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. It's a hand. It's a hand. Okay. Okay. Uh, Banzai Bust the Nuts. Thank you for the Prime. Uh oh. It's funny, because the situation isn't that bad for us, actually. We have the same hand, by the way, almost. 
but I think we might come out ahead here. Because Imperm is like the best answer to this particular hand. Imperming the lovely is so annoying when you do all this. When you do all of this and then your lady gets Impermed, your lovely, is it's so annoying. Would you also play Fenrir in lab in the TCG or is that a master duel thing? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't have a lab list for the TCG right now. It's playable though, for sure. You could play Fenrir. Absolutely. In Furniture Lab, it's probably good. No Stovey. I mean, they could still Normal Summon and make Muckraker. They could. But we have another way to interact with it, which is a good thing. Uh, set means that the hand is not Ash. I think we win. I think we win based of that. Do we go lovely now? We will go lovely in the end phase, right? No need to do it now. The only thing I was thinking about is whether we pop the back row or whether we pop the lovely. Because if we don't pop the lovely, they they have big welcome in the grave to interact. Um... Also, I don't know what I discard. Because Fenrir is going to be completely dead. Uh, Fenrir is going to be completely dead. Uh, is it? Um... Pitch the Fenrir. Um, hmm. definitely not in their hand. I feel like it has to be this. I feel like it has to be. No, does it have? Maybe it has to be this. But lovely is annoying. The back row, I just don't know what it is. But is it if it is another? What could it be? Big welcome wouldn't be that bad. Welcome would be would be okay. I think it's just this. Oh, good lord, that's insane. Um. Set big welcome, activate cool clock. Seems reasonable here. Ice Dragon's Prison. 
Uh, that's really good in this mirror match. But I don't think it's a problem. Okay, we're going to play this game without lovelies now. Both of both of our lovelies are going to be banished. This now means they have to summon from their hand with the field spell. Unless they chain, which they didn't chain. I think that's a mistake, probably. Summon the chandelier. Activate big welcome. <laughs> I don't know, man. I haven't thought about that. Are we really not winning this? Did I mess this up somewhere? I felt like we were fine. Chaos Angel solos? I could normal summon still, I haven't, yeah. Oh, man. I mean... Maybe the difference maker is that I didn't keep Fenrir, because Fenrir would be very nice here. I Maybe, maybe that was my mistake. Uh, probably even. It's very likely that that was the mistake that I made. Um... They still have big welcome in the grave, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, why are they doing this now? Setting big welcome. I'm pretty sure I lose this. I'm pretty sure I do lose this. Because I pitched the Fenrir. Fenrir here would have solved all my problems. Wait, they, they summoned it? They can still use this in the grave.
If I normal summon and make Chaos Angel, target to banish the field spell, or target to banish the back row, then I attack the Ariana. They bounce the Ariana. They have not added any of the... Now we lose this. Damn, that was winnable. That was winnable, I think. I'm pretty sure. Sub 10k Andy, man. We're getting all of our... We're getting super revenged for all those coin flips we won. This is the third in a row now. Dude, the IDP was like the worst case trap card too. Oh my god. Yeah, we're being revenge killed for what I said. Okay, never mind. I kind of want to big, uh, send Big Welcome to have it in the graveyard. Be able to dodge like Imperms. I think that's what I do. Just get Welcome Lab. I think we can smooth sail from here on out. Like that should be fine. Our hand is not great either, but, like, we should be fine from here, honestly. Um, activate Prosperity. Gantham, think of the five months. Welcome back. Ooh, skill drain. Called by. I think it's called by. Yeah, it's called by. Skill drain is powerful, but but, but they have Vishuda. And just being able to called by um being able to call by an Ash here is probably important. That seems very important. There we go. That's the imperm that I was talking about. That's mega fine. Okay. That's completely okay. That is not very good for them. Um, It sucks that this is in my hand, though. It'd be really nice. And, like, really nice. Uh, if I could, you know, use that, maybe. Now, it'd be really good here. Uh, oh, it's just this. I mean, what's in their hand? We know what's not in their hand. There's definitely no Longyan, no Emergence, no Taya, no Moyi. Uh, we'll, we'll be fine. I mean, could just shotgun a uh, eradicator here but i don't feel like that's necessary mm.
Okay, now evenly me, brother. Now evenly me. Do it to me. Evenly me. Evenly me for one. <laughs> or not <laughs> that's so funny man that ku clock is not that good is it that's oh, fine actually uh stoby torby it's almost game even Uh, normal summon. No, wait. Activate big welcome to bounce. No, normal summon. Activate. Bounce. Keep. Effect. Activate cool clock. Activate welcome. They are not feeling well right now. <laughs> I'll do it again. I'll do it again. I don't care. No, an ash blossom. I can't interact with it. My eradicator can't do anything about it. That's oh, so unfortunate, man. Why are you here? Oh my god. What are you doing, man? Come on. I'll summon a Stovi Torby and attack you with it. If you want to play that game, man, let's play that game. Let's play this game. Come on. Here, come on, Sword Soul can still win. Go.
God, yes. You fell off only 10k? Dude, I started like two hours ago. It's not bad. Task lost 2k. Now's our chance. Oh, yeah, we're coming for task. We're coming for task. I have 48k. You've also been playing for three days, Quantal. I've been playing for two hours or three hours. Calm down. Oh, thank God I didn't shotgun the maxi. I was thinking about it. Very cool. Um, this is an interesting spot. I do think they have Ash or Imperm. Uh, however, so if they have Ash or Imperm, I kind of want to activate a runic spell before activating Fountain to make them think that they can stop my Hugin, right? Making them think it's worth it to Ash or Imperm my Hugin. However, if they have Maxi instead, I want to change the second runic to stop them from drawing. Uh, and then I would want to activate Fountain beforehand because otherwise I run out of runics. Long story short, uh, the Maxi risk is higher than the hand trap, the other hand trap risk. So I'm going to do it this way. What do you think of this DC Cup meta? Uh, it's, 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 it's all right. I, I wouldn't call it great. It's fine. Because it's like, you really don't want to give them any draws when they've been on a hand that just passed, right? Because we we're, we're, we went second this game, they just passed, so you definitely don't want to risk giving them draws here. Uh, we go with the Fountain Chain Link 1. Uh, I should not have searched Blessing, by the way. I kind of zoned out because I was thinking of my next play. I should have searched um, Mole Cricket and discarded it here so to bring it back with Camellia. That should have been my play. Yep, these two are dead now, which is annoying. Well, they're not dead if we draw with Maxi. If the Maxi resolves, they start playing, you know, they're not dead. Why did I set Smiting Storm? No one knows that. Okay. They did not top deck out of the brick. Wonderful. Why are you already qualified? Yeah, the because we won worlds and they announced in game that the team from this year's world the, the world this year's world champion get invited again. So we don't have to worry about it. Which is a very nice feeling seeing everyone lose their mind over the DC Cup over this weekend and then knowing you don't have to worry about it is very cool. Okay, this hand is phenomenal. Does Ember have more decks than Exosister now? I don't think so. <laughs> 
This hand is so ungodly busted. only downside is we didn't get to activate thrust but the the thing is if we don't get to activate thrust that means they didn't have any hand traps which is yeah what's the point of thrust in this deck well it's good going first and second because going first if you don't get hand trapped you're usually fine uh and going second it helps a lot so that's that's all there is to it really um Okay, we're going to do this a little bit different from the standard because our hand is so good and we didn't get interrupted at all. We get to do something that isn't part of the normal quote-unquote combo. Uh, which is, assuming we draw a runic here, we can go for the double fountain gambit. Ooh, it's a runic mirror match. Holy shit. Okay. Is it a nat beast angle? I could nat beast these, this individual. I will Nat Beast this individual, I think. This individual, yeah, this individual is about to be Nat Beasted. Okay, um. Baron Nat Beast, to be precise. Beep. Bop. Bop. I mean, that's most likely Runic Stun, though, right? It's most likely Runic Stun, which maybe... They could even... They, can they? Nah, they can't beat this opener. There's no way. But... Maybe they have... Oh, hello. Hello. Why isn't this deck played in the TCG? Because they limited uh, the, the Sacred Tree Trap card. And with one of that, you literally cannot play it. Do you think Sacred Tree will get limited and Master Duel anytime soon? I don't really see anyone playing this deck, so no, I don't think so. I, I, I don't think it's... Like, it didn't really pick up Steam even after we won Worlds with it, but it's like... I think they do their ban list hits mostly based on popularity. Okay, we, the only thing is we don't have any more runics, but that is a lot to ask for, honestly. This hand is so good, man. Uh, well, it depends on what deck they're playing. If it's runic stun, I would really like to have some runics. Uh, if it's not runic stun, we probably just win. If it's like a runic sprite or runic naturia or anything like that, we should be, we should be okay. Oh, it's the mirror match. Oh my god, they are in so many- they're in such big shambles right now. I feel bad for them. Oh my god, I feel bad. It's a fellow Naturia Runic Enjoyer and we're just destroying them so hard, man. That is not pleasant.
Mm, you want to activate the summon effect first. And the send effect second. Honestly, it could have Baron negated the, the, the this thing in the first place. We'll double runic. And we'll... This is just the send effect that they're negating. I still get to revive. No, I'll do this. Because now they would have to tribute. Okay, they don't. Interesting. Send sunflower. Summon sunflower. Poggers. Negate with Sunflower. What do they need? Kurikara would go unreasonably hard. I guess. May as well have done get Baron and Cricket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have. I should have. I, what are you gonna do? Decking, deck me out, little bro? You wanna deck me out? Or Kurikara me? Come on, Kurikara me for a real game. Oh! They did actually do that. Holy shit, okay. Um. Concerning. Is the word I would use. Concerning. Um, I mean, is it concerning? It's not that concerning, is it? Not that concerning. Kind of whatever. Sure. No, 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 no. Not right now. Uh, thank you, Jojo Check. Appreciate you. It's so slow today. It's actually so annoying. Kurikara feels really good to me, this meta. Kurikara is good. It's a good way to solve, like, it's good against our Isart and it's good against um, Noir, right? It's a good card. It is a good card right now. Similar to how it was in the TCG. In the TCG, this exact format, not, not exactly same format, but like the, uh, around the same time, uh, it was uh, also very good. That's when the, its price went up so much in the TCG, is when Kurikara um, is in this format. But most people cited it more than they main decked it, right? Monka Christ. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Base runic enjoyer though. Base runic enjoyer though. Uh, a lot of cowards in top 20 list using the name player and default icon because of whatever reason. Well, first of all, that's not being a coward. That is just called being smart. The reason why people are doing this is because uh, if you keep playing the same deck and you use always the same username, like if I was using the name Josh and the same icon and I was at the very high level, people would know what I would be playing, right? Oh. They would know what I would be playing and they... Oh. Monka Christ. Monka S. Can't play the game. I cannot play the game. Okay, I have to... I guess I have to restart Master Duel? Has the server given up? Okay, let me, let's see if this counted as a loss. Because last time during the Worlds Qualifier, we had a couple issues like this. Where it just freaking counted as a loss. That was so frustrating. I hope it doesn't do that this time around. I mean, I guess to me right now, it wouldn't be that much of an issue. But like for someone who's grinding, like imagine being at 60k or something like that and then getting a DC. Actually, I don't have to imagine that. That shit did happen multiple times last time. Let me into the game. There we are. Oh, we can collect some missions. Hold, is it is the Duelist Cup juicy in terms of gems? The second stage is it juicy? How juicy is it? Pop, 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 pop. Well, those are regular missions for the most part. Ah, it's just five hundred. It's not that juicy, is it? Second stage doesn't give you that much. Yeah, it's just first stage. We lost points! Did you see that? It was 11. We actually lost points. It's such a joke, man. It's such a joke. I'm glad I'm not tryharding right now, because that shit... That was legit the worst part about the last one. That was the worst part about the last Duelist. The, the World's Qualifiers is when I was at 60k, like, three times on different occasions, and I had a freaking DC. Oh my god, and then... Oh no, man. Nah, oh, man. Don't put the smiles in chat right now. Don't do it, chat. Don't do it. For once. Just don't do it. There they are. So now, come on. Please, let me, let me have this Hugin. Let me have this Hugin, man. I need this fountain in my life. And I have nothing else. Let me have this fountain. Please, good sir. I'm begging. I'm begging. Let me have this fountain. Let me have this fountain. Oh my god. Bro, you take the last thing a poor man has. You take the very last thing. It's actually disgusting behavior. Oh, man, if this hand, this hand was so good if it had like an, a, 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 not a Naturia card that was Blessing or like literally every Naturia card that isn't Blessing or Sunflower was Pog. Oh, it's cash, man. It's cash. Oh, okay. They go to the battle for Zay. That's fine. It's fine. We can top deck. You should play Mannequin Cat. Well, just for drawing Sunflower? Not like it would have done anything here, to be fair. I don't think so, no. Okay. It's... I don't want to call it winnable.
If this is another Imperm, uh, we lose to it. Like, the thing is, I could pop the face down first with Destruction, but because we drew the worst card in our deck, pretty sure, um, like, it... If I pop first and then search Fountain, I have no more Runics. Like, it's pointless. We just need to hope that this resolves. Okay. Hold. 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 Don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. Come on. Ooh. Wait. Yu-Gi-Oh game? Yu-Gi-Oh game? Uh, so bad. I'm drawing so bad right now. Oh, I actually can't play. It's so mega cringe, man. I don't have Yugen anymore. Earth. Psychic. I run two Hugans, but they're both gone. I did one one turn one, one turn two. So we set three even. I mean, we have no way of discarding it anymore. Well, Coral Dragon. So if I revive Sunflower, I can tree into Camellia, actually. Technically. Okay, here's what's going on. Here's what's going to happen. Um, we're probably losing, first of all. But I'll let you know what we're going to try to do. Uh, they didn't have Birth last turn. Because otherwise they could have played. And they went Fenrir to search Unicorn. Of which I am assuming they don't have another Unicorn. Based on that information. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to pop this unicorn. I'm not going to banish a, a Theosis. Is more is very important. Uh, not yet. I'm not going to banish a Theosis here. Only two more banishes that we need to dodge Theosis on. Two more. Okay, okay. Hold. 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 Not too bad. It's not too bad. Um... I could go Blessing to summon out this, uh, this, this Camellia right now. The only thing that's weak to is Talents. Or Maxi, I guess. Not yet, not yet, not yet. And you don't have another Unicorn. I don't believe you. You have Fenrir, that's fine. I don't care about that. I don't actually care about that that much. That's fine. Sure, go ahead. I care about that a little bit. I'm slightly annoyed. Actually... Yeah, I'm annoyed by that. I'm annoyed by that. Are you, why, where's your right heart, dude? Won't he banish Fountain? Well, yeah, he will, but that's fine. That's not fine. I wouldn't call it fine. Fine is a stretch. But it's much better than I thought it was going to be.
Okay, Unicorn in hand. Probably Maxi in hand if I had to guess, honestly. Honestly, do I summon this from the graveyard now for next turn? I might. I shall do that. We're just not going to go crazy this turn. We're just hoping they pass now because they only got one new card. Don't say top deck birth. They didn't, they didn't top deck birth. That'd be unethical. That'd be so unethical right now. Is that a problem? Not sure if it is. Who the hell plays tier cash in cash tira? Is that just... Is this... No, it is cash tira. I thought it was the the tier deck for a second. This Maxi is about to fuck me so hard, man. Imagine how good this would be if they just didn't have this freaking Maxi, man. Imagine how good it would be. Without the Maxi, we're winning this. Without the Maxi, we unironically just win this game. I'm assuming they didn't have the Regeki yet. They have all the garbage in their deck, man. That's why they bricked, by the way. Just in, just in case anyone was wondering, we found the reason why they kept bricking. For a couple turns. We've discovered it. Is this an FTK? Wait, is it? No. Max C. You just sent Max C for Shooting Riser? Are you adding back Max C to your hands somehow? Savage. I think I need this Mole Cricket. I'm desperate.
I'll trade you one draw for my mole cricket. Baron. It's just Baron Savage. Bro, why is my thingy, my, my connection thing blinking, dude? My, my internet is fine. Don't blame this on me, freaking Keck WEU server. Don't make my icon blink, dude. <laughs> three f and l's on a band well there's two band cards on their field yeah mine this one's just limited ah there's the rice art okay cool pog oh my god you have got to be kidding me oh my man oh my god Come on, vanish my second fountain. I was ready for it. I'm, I was, I'm ready for it. Do it. At this point, 15 cards in the deck. Is it ever... Is it ever, like, deck out? Is deck out ever a win condition? I don't think so. Okay, just... Alright, cool. Noted. Noted. Every era. Okay. That one. Fog. Nice uh, deck. That's the worst card. That was the worst card. Fifteen cards in deck. I don't think we can do it unless they max see us again, maybe. But even then, that maxi was so cringe, man. Five, nine cards on the field. Five cards left in there. Come on, throw a maxi at me. Savage negate. We are unfortunately out of blessings. I do have Exiton, but they have Unicorn here. They could take the Exiton. Also, Exiton doesn't even out Shangri era. So even with Exiton, okay, they took Baguska.
Oh, it's so close. Nine uh, special summon. It's too. It's five too many cards. Five cards too many. Exiton is insane here, but it just doesn't do enough, right? Exiton just doesn't do enough, but I don't have a, like, I don't feel like we have a choice. Do Garis draw Fountain and Runic? I thought about that, but we have 21 cards in the deck. The chances are so low. And even from that, I don't see how we win. Because Fountain plus Runic only is like activate Fountain, activate Runic, draw two cards. What do I draw? I can't draw anything. I don't know what he's considering right now. I don't really understand what he could have. Oh, this was made with IP, right? That makes it even worse. That makes it even worse. Oh, if only they didn't draw like four cards with Maxi last turn for no freaking reason, man. Maybe it was winnable. Or maybe the Exiton should have been in attack position, man. Maybe they couldn't out the Exiton in attack position? I'm not exactly sure what they are trying to do here. I guess if they have one more Theosis, it doesn't matter. They have one more Theosis. If they go battle phase here, I'm gonna feel bad for making for summoning the Exiton in defense. Oh no, they can okay, yeah, never mind. Actually, that's not relevant. Yeah, this... Oh, if this Exiton was in attack, they couldn't out it right now. They could not freaking out this Exiton right now if I've summoned it in attack position. Oh, I'm molding. Imagine if it was an attack, man. Well, it's not like the Exiton body matters that much, but still. Why didn't you Mole Cricket revive? Because it would um, die to the Exiton anyways. Oh, I don't think the Tib saves me here. Tib. Summons rank for I guess it summons Dugaris, but what does Dugaris do, man? Oh wait, wait. They just they're, they're triggering my camellia. Hold up, hold up. They're triggering my Camellia. Give me a second. I 
I have no idea what they make with this IP, though. I mean, they can make it targeting protected anyway, so I might as well not show them what I have in my hand. No, if I get freezing curses, they just summon it under elf, right? Appaloosa? I have a battle phase, right? I'm pretty sure I do have a battle phase. Um... Oh my god, this is... Coral Dragon? Coral Dragon... Is good, yeah. Second? Not yet. I do have another... I do have another Geary. There's no way I'm winning this game. That's just legit no no shot, right? That's not happening right now. <laughs> Do I risk them having Ash? Let me check. We have not seen a single Ash. No, there's uh there's I I have to summon immediately. I have to summon him. I can't risk. I can't risk them having Ash on the tip. There's no way I can do that. Bro, this Chengying would be so big. Why is not Chengying? What's this? Baron in the fence, I think, so they can't crash. They have ash. They have ash. Oh, thank God I didn't search with the with the tip, man. Oh man, thank God I didn't search. I'm pretty sure they have ash. Do I know anything in their hand? No, they have nib. Well, that I do have to negate. That I do have to negate. Bro, how is all of this in your deck? Oh my god, the worst draw too. This is the worst card in my deck. Oh my god. How is this game still going, by the way? Can someone tell me? Can someone tell me what the hell is going on right now? Do we have another rice heart? One is gone. Two are gone. No target! Oh my god. Okay.
Uh, da, 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 da. I think it's just I have to deck them out, right? That's my win condition. Bro, if I win this game, if I win this game, holy shit, dude. There's there's actually no way. Four cards in their extra deck. The one thing I'm incredibly paranoid about is we haven't seen a single cash tier up birth yet. Pathfinder. Pathfinder. I'm gonna get Pathfinder beat down right now, chat. I'm letting you guys know that that's what they're about to do to me. They're gonna Pathfinder beat down me. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. We are down bad right now. I'm letting you guys know. Let me count the Cash Tira monsters. Uh, there's no more Cash Tiras in the deck. We know that. Two Fenrirs are in the grave. One Unicorn is in the grave. No Unicorns are banished. Oh, they have hella Unicorns. I have no more Garys is the problem. Oh. Now they can crash. Oh! No, the birth pop deck. Oh, come on, dude. We were so close. I lost, right? It's over. Actually, six cards in the deck. We can top deck something. Maybe. What can we top deck though? We need Golden Droplet, Fountain. No, Fountain doesn't do anything because they have Birth. Six cards in deck, man. Six cards. Another Freezing Curses? Let me think. Do I have another Freezing Curses in my deck? I do have another Freezing Curses. So I need to activate this now to have better odds. Ash it.
This is... You cannot make this shit up, man. The runic god needs to give me a runic tip right now. No, runic tip doesn't even do it. I don't know what I can draw, because on exactly two... No, flashing fire is what I need. Flashing fire. One... There is one flashing fire in my... No, there's, there's no more flashing fires in my deck. They both banished. All of them are banished. Tip for storm, does it? Storm is in the graveyard. Two cards, man. Uh, couldn't I draw this fountain like a little bit sooner? Why did it have to be in the last nine cards of my deck, man? Oh my god. We tried so hard, man. We tried so freaking hard. We don't deserve this. We don't deserve to lose this game. We, we fought so well. Oh, man. I am so frustrated right now. I am so frustrated. It was an insane game. It was an insane game. Aren't you regretting not doing the grind? Uh, well... Um... Half and half, unironically. Half and half, unironically. Like, I I genuinely did feel like I wanted to do it on Friday. When everyone else started grinding, I was like, damn, I'm missing out. You know, I had that FOMO. I had that FOMO on the grind, even though I already uh, I already qualified. But I don't know. I might do it at some point again. I might I might try to do it for one of the, the, the duelist cups. To be fair though, um, I think I wouldn't have done it in this format. I would I would have to enjoy the format a little bit more. I'm not saying the current format is terrible. I think it's like fine. But I think I would have chosen a different format if I wanted to do the grind again. I might do it for one of the other Duelist Cups. The people doing the grind look miserable. They do. And it is miserable. But I will say one thing. I am very happy I did the last one. You know what I'm saying?
even if I even if I didn't qualify even if I didn't qualify for Worlds last time, it would have still been worth it because of the insane like the the Twitch content was also insane, right? People people thought the stream was so pog. I think it was worth it. Even if I let's say I got fourth or something like that, even then it would have been worth it. So by that logic, maybe it's still worth it to do it even if you're not going to qualify for Worlds like cuz you're already qualified, you can still try as hard as you can and people are still going to like watching it, you know? Who qualifies for worlds? In this cup, the only the first player, the first place in the entire world qualifies worlds. In this one. Uh we're gonna have to go Coral Dragon here because we don't have a second runic. Uh worst case, it's just Coral Dragon. Uh not Coral Dragon, it's Charge Warrior. Charge Warrior plus a Camellia goes into Baron. But if we don't draw a runic here, it's pretty bad. Thank god we are the GOAT. With the runic deck. Mm. Hello? Mocha Christ? Okay. Also, uh, for the people asking about the decklist, it should be on my Discord server. You can just go exclamation mark Discord. My um, my decklists are usually being posted there. Oh God! Okay. Good lord! This is an opener I don't often go for. It's a rare one. This is a rare one. This is the forbidden opener. It's a, it's a shame that I keep drawing these thrusts. These thrusts haven't been that good so far. I'll say it. I'll say it. Maybe I should not be playing Thrust in this deck. Maybe it should be different non-engine. Hmm. Something to consider. Uh, which one have I not used yet? Let's just take one, this one I haven't used. Okay. Uh-oh. I'm so dead, bro. We're so dead, chat. I'm actually scared. That's that's not a good matchup for this deck. It is not a good matchup for this deck. Should have gone for Nat Beast. Well, yeah, hindsight 2020. It's good cards. Bro, if this thrust package was actual non-engine, imagine the level of cooking we would be doing right now. My god. Uh... Well, I think it's worth setting this in this matchup because they might have like Cosmics or something like that or the Fountain. I don't know. I'm scared.
Danny Prather, thank you for the three months. Also, Chattykins, thank you for the tier one sub as well. We might be dead. It might be the end. Uh oh. They are starting to play into my shit. They are starting to play into my cards, which I am happy about because that I no kaiju yet. Mm hmm. Arabesque. Oh, well, damn. I'm gonna negate that. Actually, no, I should have negated the effect, right? Oh, that's bad. Oh, I should have negated the effect. That's that's terrible. Oh, no, no, no. I foregore. Could you? Yeah, Baron can negate activation. And, yeah. Oh, oh, God. Come on, man. Uh, I deserve that. I did. That's fair. That's fair enough. I deserve that. Yep, I, I realized it like a split second. A split second too late. Aww. Whew. I... I feel like that's worth. Ooh, we banished this. That might be big. I, they usually only play one, right? That might be nice. I might be nice with it. Uh, banish this and banish this. No, not this. They're stealing my changing. Give it back. It's my changing. Uh oh. Um. Could just take it. Go just take it. I don't want to take it. I cannot... No, I can't target it with the Geary. Also, I'm out of Runic Fusions, which is a little concerning. Not... It's, it's very concerning, I should say. Because my hand is literally unplayable right now. I have Double Thrust and Herald of the Abyss. Those help somewhat. Not that much, though. Uh, I can use this. They have to, they can banish to protect, but they can't banish from my cards because it was in the damage step. That's what I checked. That's why it's fine. Okay. There's the homie. Hmm. It's problematic. I 
Actually, it's not that problematic. Herald out this. Yeah. We're fine. Why are you doing this? Why did you just out your entire field for me? Why did you play into that? Like, what the hell did you gain from... Okay. Sure, add a Mikanko trap from your deck to your hand. Wind Psychic. Wind. Psychic. Uh, let's play some... Let's play some Pearly. We haven't played Pearly at all yet. I don't know if this is the list, though. Let me, let me look over this list. Uh, edit. I feel like Fenrir is nice. Uh, let's take out these Pokemoons. The rest looks fine. Let's, let's try it. Let's just try it. I like three field. Oh, did it not have three field spell? Did I only have two? I think I think three is better. I didn't see that. Wait, I lost the flip, right? They made me go start. Go go first. I think they did. Mm. I think they did. It's it's ironic. Our hand is also not that great. Even if, like, you know, that actually isn't that bad for me right now. Like, I don't actually mind going thrust into... I think this list has Karma Cannon and just pass with Karma Cannon Max E. That might be good, especially against the blind second deck. My issue is that I don't really know, like, I, I can't kill them, surely. With no monster, I don't think I have a line that OTKs here. I don't have enough, like, quick plays for that anyways. Mm. Happy can solo? Well, Happy can only attack once, still. Um... Three pearlies, activate happy. I think it's this. Yeah. 
That's fine. You're not playing Big Happy? No, no, no. Wait, who's having a tough day? Oh, Farfa. I don't mind calling with Farfa for a bit if he wants to. Um, do I even rank up here? I might just pass. Actually, no. Giving them... Yeah, I'll pass. Unless I find delicious memory with this. Then I'll I'll go for something. Okay. First card is delicious memory. Hoggers. Mm, although... No, actually, I don't think it's, I don't even think it is this. I could give them one draw to get the beauty attached to beauty. Yeah, that's better. They draw one here. What is this? Nib? No. It's Numeron. See? It could be Numeron. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm guessing it's not, though. Because I don't think Numeron normally plays this many hand traps, right? It's more like a let the opponent do whatever and then, you know, deal with it kind of approach. I don't think Numeron is usually the kind of deck to have, like, this many hand traps in it. Feels more like a blind second cash or blind second pearly to me right now. Hmm... Right. Why do you like Karma Cannon that much? I don't like it that much. I, I just think that in a game with Max C, I think it's worth having a target for um for Thrust when you go first. And I just decided that Karma Cannon, I think, is the best normal trap right now. That is more than okay. Ooh, Kurikara, nice. It's more nice for me than nice for them, but nice regardless. That makes me think it's pearly, right? That has to be pearly. Yeah, 
it never misses. Anima zone, true. Can't target it though. They would have to out the field spell before that. So I don't I doubt it matters. Nice. You done goofed now. You done goofed. Oh yeah. Oh yes. I draw one more here for no reason. For no reason at all. I draw one more and they die. By the way, because of this in defense, they literally die right here. Yeah. It's a little normal summon heavy, but it's a good hand. I will say, I still, I think I enjoyed Lab the most so far out of the decks that I played. Well, enjoyment in terms of how good I thought it was. I thought Lab was pretty good, but we did win a lot of coin flips with Lab, to be fair. That is the most questionable ash in the history of ashes. I'm not going to lie, chat. That was such a questionable ash. I have no idea. Mm, how that happened. Uh, the best one here is Delicious, if we hit with the White Cat. If we hit any quick play spell with the White Cat, Delicious is insane. Um, if we miss, though, Delicious does almost nothing. The guaranteed one would be Pretty Memory. With Pretty Memory, we would guarantee something. Pretty memory, we would guarantee. I think it's. I think it has to be pretty memory. That's the the safest. Just don't miss. Yeah, it ain't as. It, it's not. It's not as easy as that. Sometimes you know. This is also uh, coincidentally the best one against Maxi, because if they have Maxi too, uh, we just don't summon with this, and then we just rank up for one draw. They get they get one draw. Uh, we get um, beauty, and that's fine, right? Which I this this is why I think this was the play, because like. If I if this was delicious memory, it would just be much weaker, right? If this was delicious memory, we would just be sitting on basically nothing here. Like this would be a this would be a a plump that couldn't attach anything. Like it's just strictly better here. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm getting a sleepy memory here, just to get the follow up. What's your take on Scareclaw and Master Duel? I think it's playable. I don't think it's great, though. I wouldn't call it a good deck, but it's playable. It's not awful.
Okay, Maxi resolved. Foggers. Knight. Man, their hand is something else. Ash, Maxi, Wraith, Soft, Unicorn, bro. That is a that is definitely a Cash Kira hand that is legal. Uh oh, are we dead? Hmm. No and scream, naturally. We might die. Okay, they missed. The hell? I think we're dead. I think we die. I don't think I have the right hand traps in this deck to top deck. It's only Ash. There's no Nib. Maybe there should be Nib. In the lower ranks, I feel like Nib could be played. Pop my friend. Pop my friend. Don't pop. Nah. God damn it. Uh, 58. It's not game yet. But we probably die. Gamma would go hard, true. Gamma would go hard, Nib would go hard, but we play nothing like that in this deck. That is one thing that I... That's sometimes interesting, I think, in deck building for Maxi, even though I hate Maxi. Um, being able to deck build specifically for it, where you put cards into your deck to make sure you don't get OTK'd under Maxi, I think is interesting. Maybe we should have done this here. Yeah, this is game. We didn't even find Ash for this. Maybe then there was a chance we survive. Probably not, though. Now they just make uh, Rule Kalos. Actually, do they make Rule Kalos? Is that game? Uh, Rule Kalos uh, is a water, so it's plus 200 on everything. 32, 35. Yeah, it's game. With snow, it's game. That's enough. Because of the snow that they milled. Damn. Unless? Nope. Okay.
I'm going to take out the thrusts. I'm not happy with how the thrusts have been performing. I'm going to be honest. Uh, edit. I'm going to take out... I mean, it, the Herald has been fine, but like that's it. Um, the Karmic Cannon. Let's play, let's play two nibs for the Max E challenges. Um, we could try Kurikara. Mm. It looks very random. But the thing is, without Kurikara, it feels like, it feels awkward without Herald of the Abyss to have, like, no outs to your opponent's Noirs. Maybe this is fine. I don't have three, though. I could make a third. We can try three. Let's try it. Let's see how it performs. Let's take out... Do we take out talents completely? We could. Well, maybe it's this. Now we're gonna open two nibs against lab. Watch me. Is the Duelist Cup difficult? Of course it's difficult. It's, the Duelist Cups are always difficult. It's just much higher level of play than in the uh, in Ranked or something like that. Like, in, in terms of Master Duel, outside of something like the World Championships, you're not going to get higher level gameplay than if you rank highly in a um, in a Duelist Cup. Like, it's very, very good gameplay most of the time, at high, at high ranks especially. Uh, we don't have a normal summon. We could grab a normal summon. We could also grab the field spell. We kind of want Lily to grab the field spell, I feel like. Although, Delicious Memory is also pretty good here. Delicious Memory... Pitch... Patch... I mean, it makes a big noir. Yeah, let's take, let's take Delicious. We have Ash for Maxi, which is what I was concerned about originally with the Delicious line, but it's fine. No. Here. Yes. Fenrir. Lily. Right. Oh, that's very annoying. Mourner, really? Not great. I could have I could have discarded Ash, but I don't think I get to no I don't get to Noir anyways because I didn't have enough spell cards in the grave. If this was Imperm, it would have worked. But now we're just gonna have to hope we survive against five cards with Ash Fenrir. Mm. 
Not looking good. Not a good start. Yep. Very bad. <laughs> oh, such a bad sign. Bro, two hand traps, unicorn Fenrir, man. It's not even worth freaking ashing this. Like, I ash this, and all it does... Like, they already have the Rice Heart. It literally isn't worth ashing, because... Yeah, no, it's not worth it. They just banish my shit with Fenrir. It, it doesn't do anything. That's the last lily too. That banished our last lily. Do I even have strikes? I do have strikes. I didn't like Imperm that much. Could live with two nibs. Don't really want to run 41. But I'm not sure what I want to cut. I don't really want to play with two. I'll just I'll, let's play 41 for a second. I need to I need to identify what I want to cut. Just cut skill drain, be a man. And ironically, I don't think skill drain is that important for the deck. You could. Normal summon rice heart. What do they mean by this? 
What do they mean by this door? Now, all I'm asking is for you to not banish my freaking lovely. Do not banish my lovely right now. Okay, they banished one of Ku Clock. That's annoying. But still, that's what I was waiting for. That's why I didn't want to do it right away. I wanted to get the Theosis out. The 41st card protects your lovely. It's okay. True. True, 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 true. Air claw cash with, with Theosis in the graveyard. That's okay. I mean, you can add a Fenrir, but you can't summon it. That's fine. So far. What about Ecclesia to search punishment? You can play like in a Deer Servant package. I don't hate it. But I also don't know what I would cut for it. Because there's a lot of there's a lot of cards I want to play in this deck. But you're right. The card the card you're suggesting is not bad in this deck for sure. He already normal yeah they already normal summoned. I don't know what battle face. I mean, see yeah. it. I don't know, 11k doesn't feel great right now for... How long have we been playing for? Five hours? Doesn't feel phenomenal. It's always the cringe decks that have the outs to maxi. Why is it always the cringe decks? Why is it always the fucking cringe decks that have the outs to maxi? It always is. Oh, they might. Oh, they might get cooked. They might get cooked. Uh oh. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's gonna be five. That's gonna be five. Wait, isn't Beaver limited? What do you summon? Is it? Ah, oh, are you going Sunfish? Are you a Sunfish individual? I take it back. I called you cringe. I'm so sorry. Oh my God! Even better. It's Nimble Momonga and and Musa Sabi. What the hell? What the hell? All of them things. Okay, you are not cringe. I take it uh, back. I take it as far back as I can. I'll still nib you. But you're still based for that. <laughs> cringe don't nib. <laughs> True, let, let them play. Don't nip the gigantic sprite because they played Nimble Musasabi. 
<laughs> yo cringe i'm cringe cringe top deck engine too god damn Am I the villain? Maybe I am the villain right now. Maybe I am the villain in someone's story right now. Maybe it's true. <laughs> End phase. Foggers. At least they have an Ash. Okay. The protagonist is not out of it yet, chat. The protagonist is still fighting. Ooh, that's a good one against the protagonist, though. The protagonist is going to struggle with the Dogmatica punishment in the grind game. That is a problem for them. <laughs> no where's your protagonist energy oh that's not a oh that's not a card that the antagonist would draw chat that is not a card the antagonist would draw maybe we are the protagonists Oof. Not great, though. Uh, Muckraker is not cost, right? Target a fiend in your grave, discard a card, and if you do, yeah, I can't, like, make Muckraker discard lovely, revive lovely. Doesn't do anything. That's fine. <laughs> Bro, it's turn seven. Who said who said modern Yu-Gi-Oh ends after one turn? It's literally turn seven right now. Okay. Hold chat, hold. Jet. Hold, hold. The protagonist might be onto something. We actually could die. I'm, I'm going to be so mad if we die to this duster. <laughs> we actually might die. If they make gigantic first, uh, we might lose. Because with the amount of nimbles they play... Uh, we could just get Mosquito otk here. It's, like, not that hard. It's actually not that... Oh. Monka S. The protagonist, um, DC'd. Anyways. Hello? Okay. I thought we got DDoS for beating the protagonist for a second. I thought we got ddos Could we play some sprite in this just for the for good time's sake? Maybe we should play some sprite in this cup. Just a little just a little bit of sprite gaming. If you want to go to 5k points, sure. Okay, that was rude. Ooh, that's one thing I love about Prosp. It always baits the Ash. It always baits the Ash. They always Ash it. 
It's not even. I'm not even saying it's wrong. It just baits it. Still not that great for us. Not bad for us either, though. Special. Who clock? Big welcome. Where can I find your playlist? Exclamation mark playlist. It's not. It's very easy to find. All right. I... Ooh, okay. But the one thing I don't like is that we discarded a big welcome. If we had any other trap, I would have rather discarded that. Because now we're resetting a big welcome. Uh, which means that we either... We cannot use both. We cannot use it in the grave and on the board. Uh, so we actually don't have that much disruption here, but, like, it's fine. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. No reason to do anything else, I don't think. This could be a draw phase maxi angle. It's a 40 card deck. It could be Cash Tira. If they just pass back, we don't really mind it. I don't think they have a Gamma in hand. They would have gamma the lovely. Yeah, let's maxi right away. Hello? Servers? Thank you. God damn. 10 seconds? The hell, man? Ah, we got him, ladies and gentlemen. We got him. Uh, will I let them proceed here or do I just pop it? Oh, you can you can proceed. Proceed. Proceed, good sir. Theosis. Oh, we're going in. All right, we're going in. Chat. Uh, I'll say it. They have to kill me this turn. If they don't kill me this turn, it it it's Jover. But I don't think they can. Normal summon Rise Heart. Okay. Banish tier cash? Okay, I thought you were going to banish birth, but sure. Banish nothing important. A rice hard. Oh no, not the rice hard. A battle phase. Okay. Bop. I'll lose my lovely here. It's fine. We can win this without lovely. No problem. Okay, goodbye. Yep. Yep. 07 lovely end phase.
Ah. That is bad for me. Actually, uh, I should have not summoned it. I should have just not summoned it. I misclicked. It's fine. Whatever. I'll just not... I'll not activate the welcome. It's whatever. Yeah. I should have just added this to hand, not given them a draw. It's fine. How are you enjoying the lab plus D-Link event? I have not played against a single Dragon Link yet. Not a single one. How do I game here? I, surely I can, right? It's just... Muckraker, summon back Ariana, welcome... Well, they have tier cash. Uh, they have tier cash. That's not a problem, though, because we have the field spell. Give me a second. Give me a second. This has to be game. Oh, no, I don't have Muckraker anymore. Never mind. I don't have any more Muckrakers. Uh, in that case... It's just not game, I don't think. It doesn't need to be game. Oh, they go for Scareclaw Cash anyways. Okay. Uh, That's good for me. Doesn't do shit for them. Ah. <sighs> Normal summon to Chandrily was game. We already normaled Ariana this turn, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, we did. It was game if we didn't add an Ariana summon? Uh, true, yeah, we could have used it to summon from hand the Chandrily later. Yep. A little bit of an awkward hand, but... I guess it works somewhat. Hmm. Oh. The mirror match. Chandelier. Pitch thrust. Okay. I gamma this, right? Yeah. That's funny. This maxi is crazy, by the way, because it stops them from doing all of their stuff. Like, they're... It's not even... I'm not even mad about this. I'm genuinely not mad about this because, like, they... Uh, all of that stuff, like... Ah, it's it still is somewhat... Ooh, this is good. This is really good, actually. Their hand was cr more cracked than ours, though. There's no way you summon, right? Yeah. You just add back, and I lab. 
And that's so annoying for them right now. That is so annoying for them right now. Okay, skip the sad music. Yup. Because we are we are not sad right now. Not yet. Their hand is insane. I just want to say that. I just want to say that their hand is completely custom made. It is a completely custom made hand. It's absolutely insane. All right, punishment in hand, coup clock in hand. That's what we know, right? Do we know anything else? No. Activate coup clock. Yep. We have another furniture. You can't use this yet. Oh, okay. Uh, what do I want here? I could set up Eradicator. But I'm not sure if it's going to work out. Can I set up Eradicator? No, right? They would just pop it right away. Right, if I set Eradicator here, they just go Big Welcome Summon Lovely and then pop my, my, my Eradicator here. I still think it's lovely for them easily, right? Early? No. Okay. Weird. Actually, it's not bad because it st it stops our big welcome. Yeah, it's a it's it's such a cringe matchup, the mirror match sometimes. If I activate big welcome here, they chain, they get a trap. I need to do it though. I should have chained this, maybe. Uh maybe not. See what they said. The problem is EEV is live immediately, right? EEV is just immediately live. They go for it here. No, Imperm. Okay. Uh, I will summon this.
a very awkward situation. Uh, they have. What do they have? They have punishment. We know. We know they have punishment. They drew lovely. Okay. Field spell is a problem. Field spell is a fucking problem. Two clock help here. It's a little late for the clock. Ooh. Chain big welcome. Hold. Not that bad yet. Not that bad yet. Uh, if I chain Ku Clock, I can activate whatever immediately. This should be punishment, right? So this should not be able to be activated.
Oh, that is wrong. That was wrong. They should definitely have popped the... The field spell. I want to get rid of this. That's why I'm doing this. Lovely can reset, but then I'm not getting rid of this shit. And this shit is super annoying in the mirror. It's like so bad in the mirror. Because now, the thing is now, uh, I don't have a trap card, but neither do they. Uh, and as soon as they, if they want to play, they have to activate a trap. And if they activate a trap, I get a trap. Which is why I think it's fine here. Maybe it's not fine. I'm not sure. Dark to get lovely. This does not play dark, unfortunately. Oh, they're going for it right now. Uh, I guess... Oh, no. I've already used this this turn. Right. What's the last card in their hand? Oh, the field spell. I will subscribe if you answer. Is Labyrinth better than Exosister post Age of Overlord? Yes. Yes, Labyrinth is better than Exosister pre Age of Overlord and post Age of Overlord. Could you not have gotten Lady and Reset Trap, then make Chaos Angel? Um. No. I could have gotten Ariana, maybe Ariana to grab a discard for Chandelier, but I, it's all it's awkward here. Maybe I messed up because I have no back row right now. I must have uh I must have messed up somewhere, right? They just have more. How do they have so much more than I do? I mean, their hand was a lot better, right? Their their hand, they their gamma was their their gamma was insane. They had cool clock opening hand. I didn't. They had a dear servant. I had no spell that went plus one. Yeah, it's actually not that surprising. My hand was double maxi nib. Actually, that's not. It's not really a one. No, the the more I think about, okay, they okay, just don't draw. Just don't draw. Uh, traps noted. I just sub, but it's not showing. <laughs> no, I can see it. Don't worry. You also didn't have to. I answer questions when people don't sub as well. You don't have to say, uh, answer my question and I will sub. <laughs> you don't have to do that. I just didn't use, I, I just didn't see your question the first time around. That's all. I will sub if you answer. Do you love Ray? No. Now follow up. Now pull through. Any other questions that you guys want to, an want to get answered for a sub? I'm down. <laughs> will you open some rarity collection at least one box right i always get whenever there's a new set i get one box sent from a sponsor smart card uh to open up on stream so we're definitely going to do that i think for everything else i want a couple cards from the legendary collection uh from the rarity collection i do want a couple cards but um i think i'm just going to go for the single cards Okay, we lost this. Their, their hand was definitely better. I, I think there maybe was a world where I could have won this. But let's uh let's let's do some sprite gaming. Uh runic sprite based AF. Select, but I need to switch up a little bit. Edit. Uh with the amount of labyrinth that I'm seeing, it feels like ash is good. 
There's not that much pearly. There's not that much pearly, so you could do something like... The good thing is that this deck should beat Labyrinth pretty consistently. Uh, we could do this to be safe against a Rise Heart. Somewhat safe against a Rise Heart. Kurikara, you could play Kurikara. You, we could go back to Lava Golem like the good old days, but then we can't normal summon Iperia or Cap Shell, which is always a downside. But we could go back to Lava Golem times. You know, we could go back to Lava Golem by cutting like, like this. This is like the the YCS Utrecht angle, pretty much. But I'm not sure. Also. Or just the kaiju. We could play kaijus. Uh, what kaiju? Probably just gamma seal, right? We could play some gamma seals. Why not? I don't hate it. What about kitten? Uh, we can play kitten. Actually, yeah, kitten is good if we play kaijus, especially. Uh, I guess we. Uh, well, I guess. Or just kurikara. Uh, Kurikara. Sure. Sure. I don't know if this deck's gonna work at all, chat. I don't know if this deck's working. Uh, yeah, yeah, 18. Thank you for the tier one sub. Appreciate that. Thank you for the support, everybody. Uh, how do you learn matchups the best? Uh, I think the best way to learn a matchup is not to play against it, but to play the deck yourself. Like, if there's a specific deck that you have issues with beating, just play it yourself. You'll see what it struggles with. I think that's the best way to learn a matchup, is not playing against it. Well, playing against it is also something you should do. But playing with it, I think, is also very educational. Goodbye, Iperia. It's been nice. Oh, they're in the tank. Or they're just lagging. More likely. If only Imperial Order was still legal, lol. That is a sentence that no one has ever typed into the chat box before. Congratulations. You are the first person with that opinion on the planet. Literally. That is a crazy thing you just said. You couldn't waterboard those words out of me. <laughs> Ban him? <laughs> no, you're not getting banned for an opinion. <laughs> He deserves a timeout at least. <laughs> God damn it, man. <laughs> what is their response that they're thinking about all the time? I'm confused. What do they have? Is it uh, just furniture? It must be furniture, right? It's probably just enough. There's a lot of labyrinth, man. There's so many lab decks right now. Hmm. 
Not bad. So it sucks that we didn't find any of the sprites, but the thing is, you really can't expect it. Oh, they did have Ash. That's a surprisingly sad Ash. I, I would have been so sad, so much more sad if you just Ashed my Hugin. Okay. Fine. Can you play Runic Stun? Do you mean, uh, do I have the ability to pilot the deck or do I, can I play it right now? Because yes, I could, because I have a, I have a, I have at least one brain cell. So yes, I could, but I don't want to. I will not. Crash, thank you for the prime. Appreciate you. Thank you. How many subs? <laughs> Don't type that question. You know that every time that this happens, I have a miserable time, no matter what number of subs I get for it. Guys, if you... Oh my god. I'm actually so mad right now. Chat, just subscribe if you enjoy the content. Don't subscribe to make me play a deck that I don't want to play. <laughs> don't do that. If you enjoy the stream, subscribe. That's it. That's all. Anyways, how much for Mathmic? <laughs> Shut up, man. Shut up. I should have never modded you. <laughs> how much to play Mathmic Runic? I, there, I should really just set a sub goal to play like the most cursed deck ever. We're going to build like a Mathmic, Mathmic uh, plant stun deck. Why is this the moment where we have a hype train going? Out of all these almost six hours that we've been streaming now, why is this the hype train moment? Just asking for a friend, chat. I'm asking for a friend. I don't want to know a friend wants to know. Why is this the hype train moment? Anyways, Mr. Armageddon, thank you for the prime. Appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, did I just lose that coin flip or win that coin flip? I forgot. I, th I feel like I won that coin. I feel like I lost that coin flip. Hmm. What do they mean by this? What do they mean by this? Mikanko? It could be Mikanko. Did I win the coin flip or not? I genuinely don't know because it like it, it can't be lab if I won the coin flip. If I lost the coin flip, then it's not lab. You did not win the coin flip. Okay. That's concerning.
Do I still play Avermax in this deck? I do. Music, mod check. Why is it so... Okay. Do we have more points than Farfa? Probably not, because I started playing today, but I don't know how many points Farfa does have, so... Probably not, though. I would leave space for Hugin Protect. I guess maybe I should have... But I mean, I'm gonna have Carrot, though. I'm gonna have Carrot. But I could get demolished by, like, Kaiju Plus. You know? Yeah. All right, easy as that. Easy as that. How come you're running Kurikara? I'm trying it to out like a Rysard and um, Noir. I'm not sure if it's the best possible card for it, but I'm, I want to. I wanted to try it. I don't think this deck's very good, though. I don't even know why I'm playing it. I guess I'm just I'm just switching it up. I'm not taking it too seriously this time around, but this deck's not that good. Ah, he's good hand. He's good hand. Um Do we go greedy here, chat? I think we go greedy. Let's go greedy. The non-greedy play would be to normal summon red. The greedy play is worse into maxi. Just activate Runic, um, because it's better if we draw into a Hyperia or a Cap Shell. We never get punished. It's that easy. Uh, Slate Deathstroke, thank you for the Prime, appreciate you. Fountain 1. Yugen 2. That's what we played around. That Ash on Hugin does not hurt that much. I don't know why people keep Ashing Hugin when you already have a Fountain. It's very suboptimal, to say the least. Why not play Teledad? Uh, because it's the year 2023 and not 2008. Or 2009, rather. By the way, chat, has anyone has anyone I saw the I thought I saw the Jeff Leonard deck profile yesterday or something. Has anyone uh built that in Master Duel yet? Does it have many ultras? Because he said it's completely Master Duel legal. Does it have many ultras? I didn't watch the MCS. Uh, let's make a Gin Buster, I think. Yeah, let's make a Gin Buster.
You need three Selene? Ah, probably. That's an Ultra, right? Do you not play Capture? I do play Capture, but you still go for Hyperia first if you don't have Capture. Uh, if you draw Hyperia, you go for Capture. Okay, Lab, a free win. Lab is actually such a good matchup for this deck. If you, especially if you go first, going second you can lose, but it's still fine. Do you think Centurion will be decent post Valiant Smashers? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think it's a decent deck. I don't know if it has top tier potential, but it's got some nice combos. And we don't have Maxi in the TCG, so I think it's, it's going to be better than in the OCG. I think it's fine. Playable. Uh, we have two. We can go for three. It's, it's basically three. We're cycling the freezing curses. Uh, get three more banishes. It's uh, against against lab. You can actually hit some very important engine pieces like the lovely, the one of Ku Clock, the one of uh, Eradicator, those kind of things. Let's right there. The field spell. Right. There's a lot of stuff you can hit. Good lord. What are we doing to this individual? There goes another ash. Yeah, we don't talk about this game anymore. That is the thing. If 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 most people are playing um lab, then uh friggin' runic decks are actually not that bad. Negate. As long as this isn't exactly skill drain, the game ends here. Even if it is skill drain, the game probably ends, but it takes a little bit longer. Okay, it's not skill drain. Mm, two. We get more than two. Why some people choose Lab over Pearly? I mean, it's a good deck in Master Duel right now. It's very, very strong. Chain starter before you draw? I don't need the starter. The The thing is, starter summons blue, but blue has no target. It's literally irrelevant. I can't chain it here, yeah. But it, it gives them, like, an opportunity. If this is Ash, 
Like, nah, let's just not. It's it's whatever. Angelier. Okay. I mean, we still haven't banished. Um, <laughs> we still haven't banished Lovely, by the way. Stop, stop, he's already dead. Well, I mean, I know that, but they are, uh, they keep playing. This is why I said, don't play, um, don't play lab, uh, don't play sprite runic in the, in the uh, duelist cup, by the way. It takes forever and people refuse to surrender. But it's, yeah. Make them suffer. <laughs> Is Elf a problem in Master Duel? It doesn't look like it. I think it's a problem. I hate to say it, but I think it is a problem. I think it's a problem. Where's the lovely? I want to find the lovely, man. It's my mission to find this lovely. I will find it in your deck. It's there somewhere. I know it. I know it. I know it's there somewhere. Show me where it is. Nope, not the one. Not the one. I will find it. I will find it and I will banish it. <laughs> Where is it? It still yo. Where is it? I'm on a quest. I'm on a quest to find it. I will find it. Where is the lovely? Oh, come on. <laughs> Bro. That is the fun. No! Oh my god, I couldn't find it. Oh, we failed. We failed, man. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay. Let's. Let's stick with the let's stick with the runic thing for now because there's a lot of labyrinth but let's switch it up a little bit. Let's take out the thrust from this one as well. Uh let's go back to ash. Kind of the same as we did with the other. Maybe two. Now does this deck need an out to I mean let's be honest right now there's no pearlies man. There's no pearlies. 
maybe it's fine to just not play an out to it. Maybe it's fine. If I queue into Pearly right now, it's at least a good clip. If I queue into Pearly right now, it's at least a banger clip. Know what I mean? I am legit only playing Pearly. Well, we'll see how it goes. I guess if you, if you really have a, if you have a good hand, you could try to deck them out. If they if they sit on their Noir without activating it. Yeah, no. 43 cards. Yeah, it's not pearly again. Probably lab once more. Maximus. Can we punish that shit? Not really, right? No. Maximus is scary sometimes. I mean, might as well. Don't know what the point of chaining... Oh, okay, that's a point. Okay, fair enough. Nice. Not bad. I don't hate that play. I don't hate that play. It's not bad. Okay. That's fine. The bigger problem is that our hand freaking sucks right now. A runic does make it slightly better. Big welcome in the draw phase. Okay, interesting. If this snipes, if this snipes my uh, dispelling, I'm gonna, I'm gonna scream. That's fine. Is it fine? It's kind of annoying. I wanted to go for Mole Cricket. I really wanted to go Mole Cricket. I don't think this is gonna work. I wanted to go x ton but I don't think it works. Because I can't respond to their traps. But I can shotgun it, right? A better hand can beat that, probably, but not this hand. This hand was way too bad. That's fine. Ooh, we're getting into the player territory with the, with the, you know... Interesting.
we can check in on some of the standings after this game maybe i'm genuinely interested on in how like other people are doing droll and lockbird uh yeah that's good that's good here that's gonna be really painful I hate Droll so much. I've kind of shifted away from hating Droll that much. Uh, I know, I know, uh, like, you know, lingering floodgates are cringe and all that. But I feel like Droll usually only sees play when the decks are really, really fucked. Say that to my Ritual Beast deck. The problem of your Ritual Beast deck is not Rolling Lockbird. The problem of your Ritual Beast deck is that it is 0-1 against uh, Edison uh, format fairies waiver. That's your problem with Ritual Beast. I'm letting you know right now that Rolling Lockbird is not the reason or not the problem with Ritual Beast. The problem is that you lost to uh, Cyber Dragon Brain Control Christia. Okay. We playing the game or what? We playing the game or what? You didn't let me play the game. Now it's your turn to play the game. Let's go. Sure, bro. Sure. All the hand traps. Very proud of you. What's next? Circular? Go. Grimness. Gishki Grimness. Ooh, we hit... Sprite Carrot and a Nerimanas. That's good. So... Are you gonna take 30 seconds to summon your Sprite Blue? Or what? Or what? Mr. Player, Mr. I'm tryharding this Duelist Cup. That's why I'm naming myself Player, and then I'm scooping after having Droll, Imperm, Ash, and a, and a one-card starter. Pog you. Nice. Very nice. Phenomenal. What kind of glass bottle is that? It's, just, it's a water bottle. It's just the soda stream thingy. The ones where you... You, you know what I'm saying. Also, I don't know how much an ounce is. Fifty cards, all right. I'm expecting great things, Mr. Fifty Cards.
You've drawn Foolish Goods three games in a row? Uh, yeah, it's not even that good to draw it, actually. It's like the worst Nuturia starter. It's the worst Nuturia starter, because it, it's one less tree in the deck. Uh, Toshino, thank you for the nine months. Appreciate you, thank you. I could make Nat Beast with this hand. Nat Beast plus Maxi goes kind of hard against 50 card deck. It would be... Um, but we wouldn't get... You know what we can do? We can charge Warrior first to see if we draw a Runic. Because if we draw a Runic, not, nothing is a problem anymore. Literally nothing is a problem. We're eating so good if we draw a Runic. We tried. Um, no nad piece then. Did you use Mole Cricket? I did use Mole Cricket to tribute, yeah. It's in I, I started with it. I haven't used Mole Cricket to revive itself, but you usually don't do that. Most of the time you don't. Uh do we shotgun Maxi here in the standby? What if they just pass? They're playing 50 cards. It's not cash though, right? There's no way. It's 50 cards. We can just wait with Maxi. There's no way it's cash. Okay, it has to be. It has to be a different deck. It has to be. There's no way. Okay, I'll I'll maxi now. It's pearly. Didn't I say two games ago we literally never play against pearly? I think I did that. I did I think I did say that. Okay. Interesting. Pitch. How is it 50 card pearly? The hell? Could have summoned Sunflower in attack, but I think it's too risky. I might die if I do that. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I'm, I'm too young. To summon the sunflower and attack, I don't have it in me.
Uh, this may be a dumb question. How do you tell what rarity a Yu-Gi-Oh card is? You, the Digimon cards have it written on them. Uh, well, it's not really a dumb question. If you don't know how they look, you you have no way of knowing it. You just have to know what rarity looks like what. It's as simple as that. You just have to know what it looks like, basically. So for anyone who is not, like, familiar with it, there's it's not, not dumb at all to, like, not know. Uh, all right, we will be zeus here. But it's very much fine. Well, it's fine in the sense that, you know, it's just a three material Zeus, un unless they want to give us two more cards. And I mean, they, they are out of everything. Yeah, it's just a three mat Zeus. I might as well. No, actually, there's no point. Is there a point? No, there's no point. Nice. Ooh. The Mole Crique. Nice. Oh, I don't think we have another tree, though. Yeah, that makes it slightly less exciting. Uh, I make... I can go Nat Beast Trishula. I will do that. Uh, I think it was probably worth to give me one more draw to make the Zeus life, but we would still win with against Zeus. We would just make this display differently, and it, they would Zeus, we would Talents, and it would be fine. How many points do I have? Like 13 or 14k, I don't know. Not that much. We only, we've only we been playing for like 6 hours. It's fine. It's not too bad, actually. I want to check the standings after this game, though. I love summoning Trishula with this deck, man. It is the best. Wait, you had my friend Pearly? Why didn't you just activate it and search with it, at least? What can they draw? It ha it'd have to be Lily, right? It would have to be Lily into what? Hmm. Nope, no Lily. Runic, mod check. Wrong Runic, didn't ask for that one. But my bad, you got me, you got me. Did not specify. My bad. When you ask the runic god for a runic off the top, we've learned this at multiple times throughout this, this stream. When you ask the runic god for a top deck, you need to be specific with it. You need to be specific with it. You can't just say, give me a runic. It'll always be fountain. 
Thoughts on Chaos Angel in this deck when Tri Edge Master drops tomorrow? Uh, interesting. Yeah, it's an interesting idea. You're probably gonna play Tri Edge Master anyways, so yeah, you might. You might. It's a good card. It's just that the extra deck is so tight, man. Check rankings. I did forget. I did forget. Standings, you addict? Okay, sorry. My bad. <laughs> sorry. I'll check the standings after this. I'll try to remember. Sorry, chat. Sorry. Ooh. The runic god is Satan for sure. No shot. No shot. How often are Duelist Cups held? Uh, I want to say probably every like three, four months, maybe. I think you and I are the only ones that actually preach runic. Nah, there's some base runic in jars in my chat. I know it. They're just very shy. They are just very shy. People just don't understand that the the... The only bad thing about Runix is the freaking uh, stun version. Everything else is base as hell. People just don't know it. People just don't know it. They don't know what's good for them. I, I forgot again. I forgot again, man. Because it was so fast. It was so fast. It didn't even count in my head. It didn't count. Oh. I'm addicted to playing Runix. Ooh, Scareclaw. Bedge! Scareclaw, Bedge! I don't know what this deck actually makes. Does Scareclaw summon, like, Baron and shit? Or do they make, like, Fryheart? Like, what's the, what's the deal with? Like pure Scareclaw. Tryhard Pass? That would be insane. If they went Tryhard Pass, the field spell added... No, it didn't add Rykard. What if they don't have Rykard? What if you just don't have Rykard, my friend? Oh, you have Rykard, okay. So that makes this a three-card combo, I believe. Well, let's see. You only search Vsus if you have Rykard? Yeah, it makes sense. They probably would have added Rykard if they uh, if they didn't have it. Baron. Baron. Okay, that's fine. We can play through Baron. Depends what else happens. Isn't Tryhard just unaffected, though? Isn't it just like the one that... Isn't it like Baguska from Wish? Isn't it like not that powerful? Does it have any other disruptive capabilities? No. Search right card. They still have the reborn spell. No, they use the reborn spell. Set one. You know what's going to happen, chat? I can already tell you what's going to happen. Uh, I'm going to tell you that this board is beatable and then they're going to drop max C and suddenly it's not beatable anymore. Uh, what is the Scareclaw back row? Like, what is the... There is... This is the one that they play, right? Tribute to Scareclaw, target two cards your opponents, control, destroy them. If you control visas, banish those cards instead. If a link three is on the field, you can banish this. Neither player can activate links. Okay, that's not a problem.
Ron the Ocean Man, thank you for the gift sub. Appreciate that. I don't know why you gift sub to Cowboy for game, <laughs> but sure. Okay, they negate here, which turns on talents, which is nice. I love that for us. Turns on talents. Uh, let's let's draw here. I think we draw. Yeah, drawing is better than taking. Bop bop. Those are good cards. Especially last turn, that would have been a good card, but it's fine. Ba -ba -da. Did you ever consider Ancient Pixie Dragon in that runic? Uh, I, I think level 7 is just a little too awkward for Naturia runic. Okay, it is that card. That's fine. It's only a little bit of a problem because we don't have... Wait, we can just Gary here. Is Gary better now? No, I still want to discard my tree. They could have done that on the Hugin. It was a straight up mistake. They maybe didn't know that Hugin can't protect if you target both. They probably didn't know that. We might need both camellias here this turn. If I go for a sunflower. I think it's both camellias. I saw your recent video video about the YCS. Where can I find the rescue ace combo sheet? Uh, I, I, I'm, you know what? I saw that a lot of people commented that, and it's honestly my bad for not including it. I will probably just, um, post it. I, I'll make a comment, um, and pin it to the video and link it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay. Charge Warrior here. If Charge Warrior doesn't draw a runic, we have to go to Garus. But if it draws a runic, we um, destroy their entire existence. Nope. Um. Oh, that's annoying, man. Okay, well, I guess we have to do Garus. Fine. What do they have? Oh, they have this thing, right? Which is thankfully completely dead against our deck. Could they have Nib? Do we know all the cards in their hand? Because I could make Baron first. I could make Baron and then Dugaris. I probably should. Is Nat Runic better than Sprite Runic? In Master Duel, yes, 100%. Alright, now if we don't draw a Runic spell, Runic Quick Play spell with this Dugaris, it's act we're actually being scammed. We're actually actively being scammed if we don't draw a Runic here. Nice. 
Uh, I kind of want to negate this and then pop it. No! Revive spell protects. Uh, yes, but I can do a donner as well. I could do a donner as well if I wanted to. This is last three. Don't say, don't smile at me like that, Chad. Don't do that. Donner can't activate. Oh. Only if they... Ah, I guess if they use this. Yeah, you're right. In this case, maybe it's better to pop the Baron. Because it can still tag out and, and do annoying stuff to me. Then, But then why did I negate this? Ah. Not happy with this. Um, the annoying thing is that this thing can also pop immediately because there's too many defense position monsters. I'm annoyed right now. I am annoyed. But I have to do it. Do they start a chain? They don't. I have another Yugen, right? Yeah. Chain Maxi. Chain Maxi. Hmm. Yep. If I didn't have Sunflower in hand, I would probably have negated that. But because I have Sunflower in hand, I'm probably I'm not inclined to use my Nateria card this turn anyways. Like, I'm not going to get to a negate. So I think it's fine. Just let him draw. Use my Baron negate for something more meaningful. Just draw one here. Ah, oh, maybe it's, well, that was not greedy enough. Easy, Ash. This feels like a good Baron. Is this any Scareclaw card? Is it a Link? No, a Link monster.
<laughs> Attacks Baron here. And the Dugaris, but I think that's fine. Can't flashing fire it, unfortunately, because of the, the, the spell, right? We have to find a way to get rid of this shit. Uh, we can... I guess we can... No, we can't donner it. It's annoying. Mm, I'm annoyed right now. I'm annoyed. We have... One runic in the grave, so we draw two. Changing. Can I make changing? No. I can trish, but that's unaffected. Oh, this sunflower was a nightmare draw, man. Unironically. Without the sunflower, we would have no problems whatsoever. Bro, can I stop drawing Naturia cards? Uh... Man. Monka Christ. Now my headphones died. Oh, Red Reboot. Oh, God. We might lose this. I think if we lose this, it's because I misplayed, though. This tryhard should have been long gone, I think. I, f I don't feel like this tryhard should be here anymore. Why do we lose the music if your headphones die? I don't know, actually. That is interesting. Is Did the music die? Hold up. Uh, give me a second. I need to... I need to play this turn. I'll give you music in a second. Bro, I, I, I clicked, literally, I clicked so hard on the freaking toggle. Yeah, we die. I don't think we can draw anything, though. Could have just normaled it? Yeah, maybe. That was definitely not well played.
Uh, let me fix the music real quick. I don't know why it's not playing. Uh, pop. Here. Mm -mm -mm. Uh. I need to swap headphones. Where did I put? Here. Pop, pop, pop. Watch him cue. No, 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 no. I won't. I won't. I promise. I promise. Calm down. Calm down. He's already in queue. Yeah, I'm queuing. I'm queuing. I went to face cam mode to fix my music and instead I'm queuing a game of runic. There you go. Okay. Uh, ba, ba, ba. 79k, man. 79k. Holy shit. Uh, how's everyone else doing? Let's have a let's have a little break and check out the the situation on the on the Twitch. Farfa, Jesse, who else was grinding? Rokalos was grinding, Trishula was grinding. How is Jesse doing? Jesse's playing Pearly. Uh, and is probably winning this game, unless there's a D barrier going on. Royal Kalos is playing Lab. The thing is, I can't see their points while they play. I have to, I have to watch until they win or lose a game to see the points. Jesse is in pure pain. Pure pain. What do you mean? He's looking good. Jesse lost a lot of points, so what is what's his score? 44? Dude, 44, it's so rough. Cause like the freaking how, man. How? Let me follow a task. How do you have a 80k is crazy, man. 80 is actually crazy. 80 is so much, man. Like, even if you're playing a deck that's like. And people said he was playing Pearly. Uh, how the hell do you get 80k with Pearly in, in, in two? It's not even like, it's like two and a half days. more. That's a little more than two and a half days. But the win rate needs to be insane. Like, it actually needs to be insane, man. Do you think he's account sharing? I have no opinion on that. As, lo as long as you have no proof of that, you should not say that. Simple as that. As, as long as you don't know, you just shouldn't say it. How, how, what do you mean? I have, I don't, I don't, what do you mean? What do you think he's account sharing? I don't have an, it's not an opinion question. I don't know it. Probably not, you know, probably not. Okay, so this game is, I mean, Jesse's winning this game for sure. Let's, uh, yeah, okay. Royal Kalos is, what's Royal Kalos' score? Ah, we can see right now. Okay, we can check. Because she was I, she was doing really well at some point, I think. 38. Okay, that's also rough. I f I'm pretty sure 38 was where she was at, like, on Saturday at some point. That is rough. What about Trishula? He's also around 38? Okay. Has he been playing Dragon Link the, all the way through? Has he been playing Dragon Link all the way through? Where's Herman at, by the way? 
Where's Herman at? Does anyone know? Because Herman was in first. I think Herman was the first one to go to 60k. Hey, Jesse, where did your cards go? Oh, the opponent has Max C active. Uh-oh. Uh Wait, why did we attack the Stoby? Couldn't we have attacked the... The Muckraker? It's Jesse versus Ryan and they are in Discord together? Really? That is so funny. That is very funny. But wasn't this OTK? Unless he went for Prosperity? Who is the highest out of the Team 7 grinders? Because it was it was Jesse, Ryan, and uh, and Raymond were doing it together, right? Well, like, they were in a call and they all played for themselves. Ryan is the highest? Okay, how many points does Ryan have? Because he's the only one not streaming. I can't check. Ryan is at 55-ish? Okay. 55 is not bad. So, but 55 is, like, not even top 10. Oh, there's Herman. Herman is in 10th. He's actually changed his name for the thingy. Herman is top 10 right now. I can also ask Eugen. Eugen was doing the grind. The, the reason we know it's task, by the way, in first, because you might wonder that because everyone is named player. The reason why we know it's task is because I'm pretty sure he's the only one with... 10,000 followers in uh, in Master Duel. I don't think anyone else has I don't think anyone else has that many followers. It's his ID too. Oh, I guess I guess you can see the ID. Yeah, I guess you can know for sure, yeah. Uh yeah, he has he has this many followers because he's he's gotten first in in a couple of these tournaments. Uh he definitely was first in the world in the world's qualifier and that's why he has so many followers. How many do you have? I have, like, from winning Worlds, I have, like, 5k, I think. Which is still a lot, but uh, it's not task level, yeah. It's not quite task level. Uh, Jesse needs to hurry. The one Farfa interviewed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Farfa did interview um, Task at some point, yeah. Well, yeah, Jesse's winning this game. Why did we set? Oh, I, I was ending. Okay. That is a fat noir, chat. Have you ever seen a fat noir like that? That is a 10 material noir. There's no world where Ryan is winning this, right? If it's actually Ryan. Timeout is actually a win condition right here. Unironically, has to be timeout. <laughs> timeout is the win condition. Ryan, only, you need to waste seven more seconds only. That's it. Just waste seven seconds, Ryan. You're so close. <laughs> Monk S, dude. We're toggled off. We're toggled off. Why did we shuffle this thingy? Why didn't we shuffle, like, the set card? Bro, if he had more time, he was winning this guaranteed. If he had more time, he was winning this guaranteed. Right? You just shuffle the... You shuffle the back row, and then you shuffle the, the lady.
just let him play? Maybe, yeah. Probably. I mean, now it's 33 seconds, seconds again. Bro, all I wanted to... Oh my god. All I wanted to know was what the score was, man. All I wanted to know is what the score is, and we've tuned into Jesse versus Ryan 30-hour game. The thing is that if uh, if if Ryan has the Ruma cannon in the deck somewhere, he can eventually out the Noir, right? Because Jesse is always forced to shuffle back the Karma cannon into the deck, so it runs out of materials. The Ruma outs Noir? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Ryan has a lot of cards, man. If there's still a goddess in the extra deck, he might be able to. Okay, Eugen is also on 38. Eugen is also on 38. He just messaged me. Okay, here is where it is. Here's where we make goddess, because we didn't banish it with the extravagance, because we're skilled like that, right? We're skilled like that. We're god gamers. Ryan? Ryan? God gamer? Josh watching them struggle? I'm not gonna lie. It does feel good. It does feel good to, uh, like, see, uh, know, know that you don't have to grind that hard seeing, the, seeing how the others fight for it, you know? A little bit. A little bit. Is it gone? It looks like it. It looks like the Underworld Goddess is not in the extra deck anymore. I miss Josh's grinding stream. You know what? Unironically, I kind of miss it too. I kind of miss it too. I kind of miss that stream. It was, even though it was super duper stressful, it also was pretty fun. I literally said, I literally said I might do it again at some point. The problem is, the problem is, chat, if I, if I do it again, you know what's, you know what's going to happen is, um, I'll probably, um, I, 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 I might give up at some point when it becomes too stressful, right? I would be like, okay, beforehand I would be hyped for it. And then, and then during it, I would be like, dude, why am I doing this? Who is the best lab player? I don't know. Bro, that Noir is getting thicker and thicker, man. It's not the same without pressure, true. Can't wait till Vanquish Soul comes to Macedon. Dude, me too. I love Vanquish Soul. I'm gonna play so much Vanquish Soul when it comes out. I hope they re I hope they release it together with Jiao Long. Honestly, I hope. I hope they are gonna release them together. That's the dream. What cards are you getting from Rarity Collection? I haven't decided yet. There's a couple things that I want. But there's also a bunch of things that I don't want, luckily, so I don't have to spend as much. Bro, can this game please end? All I want is to know your score, Jesse. Jesse. Thank you. God. All right, what's the score? 44. All right. Good, 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 good. Dragon. All right. 
Chat, we're gonna get, we're gonna do a couple more games. We're gonna do a couple more games, and then we're also gonna call it a night. Because thankfully, unlike these other full time grinders, I don't need to do it full time. Uh, we're just gonna do like two more or something. I don't even I don't know what deck I queued right now. Is it still in the Tyria? You called Farfa a grind? No, Farfa, unironically, I know you guys like making fun of Farfa, but Farfa was doing really well. Farfa had a had a really good streak going on Friday. Like, even I know I know how much you guys love making fun of Farfa. He was not doing too bad. He was really not doing that bad. And it is tough, so cut him some slack, okay? Cut him some slack. You should have seen me in the darkest hours of uh, the world's grind, man. I played really bad at during some games. Some games I played really, really poorly. The clips from that run were bangers? Oh yeah. I'm sure you guys like those. A DD crow. Honestly, you're just crowing an upstart goblin pretty much. I think it was better to crow like Mole Cricket next turn, but sure. <laughs> okay. It was much worse than that for you. Oh god, that DD crow was a disaster. That DD crow was an absolute disaster. That was the worst DD crow in the history of DD. Oh, oh my god! <sighs> okay, it was Robina Apex Trap. Robina Apex Trap. Should be doable? Question mark, I think. Should be fine. I mean, what would they even need to top deck? Like, with the field spell, they can play somewhat. But I don't think... Like, Dark Ruler does it, I guess? Yeah. Alright, that, that would be kind of a... That would kind of be a stinker of a last game. So let's do one more. Roll Despair. Do one more. Is this a good build? Uh, okay, don't, don't send me. Don't send me Fluanda Reese deckless. Please. Cease.
Is there a link to this playlist? Uh, exclamation mark playlist. Yeah, there is. There is one. Ooh. Ooh. Did you say which rarity you like the most? Out of the rarity collection or in general? Uh, in general, rare and ultimate rare are my favorite rarities. Uh, and out of the new ones, I have to see them in person. I'm not sure yet. Maybe I should have maxed seed, but I kind of want guaranteed draws with it. I think it's fine. If they have uh, Holotea, the max seed goes crazy. Doesn't this entire thing just lose to Flashing Fire? Isn't Flashing Fire just curtains for this shit? Yes. Okay, cool. That is fucked up. That is not fucked up. That's pretty insane. I haven't seen Jesse even try Runic decks this Duelist Cup. I don't think he likes Runic very much. Maybe he thinks they take too long and, uh, and it's not worth it. It's possibly as well. Uh, could activate this here to get a charge warrior. I don't think it's worth it. I think it's just set pass. Skip a battle. Cringe. Cringe behavior from the uh, Trap Tricks player. What? Where, where is this from? Where is this from? Where does this come from? How does this how does this fit into your deck? What? The hell? End face scoop. <laughs> Great. 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 <laughs> Man. They gotta be on Vernus Elves? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. <clears throat> one more? Ah, come on, man. That was the one more, man. I'm a little bit tired. Convince me to play one more right now. You know what? I'll play, for one sub, I'll play one more. Literally just one. Just one person with a prime, and I'll play one more. But this doesn't work infinitely, okay? 
Not infinitely. Because that's like the worst deal in the history of deals. That's worse than a subathon. <laughs> hey, Vince. <laughs> hey, there we go. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that. You subbed at the same time. You've been debated, by the way. You've been out gambit. That was the gambit. The gambit is you say one sub, and then everyone's like, yeah, that's a good deal. I'll sub. And then you get multiple at the same time. And then you activate like a runic spell and your opponent scoops and then it's just like 10 seconds easiest uh, subs of your life, you know? Or... Or... It's just the worst hand possibly known to mankind. Yo, Default Char, thank you for the Prime and Simo Lol, thank you for the 5 gifties, appreciate that, thank you. Uh, this hand is the worst hand known to mankind. We're just passing. Was that worth it? I don't feel like that was worth it, chat. I feel like that's a stinker of a game. Oh, the Ku Clock. Oh, chat, we have, uh, we have two Ashes against Labyrinth. We might just win. <laughs> we might win anyways. We could. Next turn, we draw a Runic. We're in this, chat. We're in this. Next, next turn, we draw a Runic. <laughs> uh, hold up, hold up, hold, hold. No Megalol. No Megalol. <laughs> All right. What now? Oh, my God. Their hand is custom. I have to ash this. I'll ash it. I hate that I have to, but I feel like I have to. I really feel like I have to. This card is busted, man. I don't want them to draw a card and get a free Dogmatica punishment. We will just draw the third for turn. I would prefer if we didn't do that. I would prefer if we didn't draw, you know. Yeah, it's 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 still looking bad. If we draw a runic, it's playable maybe. End phase. Runic? Not fountain though. Oh my god, man. Flashing fire. Oh, so close, man. <sighs> it almost looked like I thought it was it for a second. I thought it was it for a, for a brief moment. Okay, next turn, maybe we play Yu-Gi-Oh! chat. Maybe. Maybe next turn we take part in an activity called playing the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. Surely. Surely it's gonna happen. I also have no idea why they went for Welcome Lab over Big Welcome Lab. It is a mystery to me. A huge mystery. Oh my god. Your hand is actually custom made. I'm pissed. Why did you make me play this game? We could have just gone to... We could have just gone and left with a good feeling of beating Flu 
And the game after... I forgot what it was. We could have just left feeling wonderful. It's actually scripted, man. It's actually, it has to be scripted. It has to be scripted, right? It, it's scripted. It was not worth it. Every time, every time I say X subs to do Y, it's never worth it. It's never worth it. I should just never do it. I swear to God. There was no amount of subs that this game was worth. Like, this literally, like, literally, you, uh, you tell me a hundred subs to play this game again, I will say no. I will not do it. This was the most miserable game of the entire day. How is the one more game always the most miserable one of the entire night, man? How? <laughs> God damn it, chat. God damn it. One last, one more, one last, one more. Yeah, okay, okay. Calm down.
8, 10, 13. Not quite. We're not doing it no more. No, no more, chat. No more. No more. Don't you see what you're doing to me, man? It was such a glorious time that we had until then. It was such a glory. No, 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 no. Actually, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. No, I'm not doing it. There was even people in chat that said, I'll sub if you play one more, and then they didn't sub. You guys have lost the right to, to ask for one more. We've done three one mores now. We've done three one mores now. And it's been miserable. <laughs> it's been absolutely miserable. <laughs> Low dark, thank you for the gift sub. <laughs> I don't want to end on a loss like that. I don't want to end on a loss. I don't want to. I don't want to. Bro, can I begin? Can I just win a game? Oh god, what is this? A runic mirror? Are we here forever? I think we're here forever. I think we're here forever. We're here forever. Stop the music. Stop it right now. Don't summon a sprite on me. Don't summon a sprite against me. Don't use the forbidden techniques against me. Oh my god. Dagda incoming, you think? You think they go for life twin Dagda stuff? They could. It'd be so cringe. Chat, did we win the draft for the YCS? No, we tied. We tied. To be honest, playing Duelist Cup without caring for the top spot is pretty fun. No, no, I'm not having a, I'm not having a bad time. Except for those last three games. <laughs> I had a pretty good time today. It was fine. I I'm not in love with the current Master Duel format, but I also don't hate it. So it's like kind of whatever to me. Uh, I can definitely see how it would be frustrating, though, if you like try hard for this one, because it feels like no matter what you do, you're going to be it's kind of like a rock, paper, scissors format where like between Pearly, Cash and Lab, there's like so many cards that are only good against one or two of them. Right. And those are like the top three decks for sure. Like it's like. Nib is really good against one of those decks. Um, uh, back row removal is really good against others. And like, it's, it's like the cards are so good against certain decks and so bad against others. Like thrust package is insane against, uh, against cash and pretty good against pearly, but really bad against lab and so on and so forth. Right. And it feels like, um, it feels like if you're not try harding, it's fine. Right. Cause you are just like, okay, whatever. I'll lose some matches to whatever. Right. But. Uh, if you're tryharding, I can see it being pretty obnoxious here this time around. 
Ooh, Mole Cricket is nice. When does stage two end? Uh, it should be in like eight, nine hours or something like that. Don't max see me. I don't have it in me. I don't have it in me. I don't have the power. Oh my god, that's even worse. Is that even worse? It might be even worse. I'm not sure. It's pretty bad. The hell is that? Oh, Lila Treat. What's that doing here? Now it's now we just have to check if they know what they're doing. So if they know what they're doing, we lose. They don't know what they're doing. Okay, good. We probably still lose, it's the frustrating part. What should they have done? They should not have negated this one. They should have negated Fountain to draw. Because now I still get to protect... They wanted to stop me from summoning Hugin to protect Fountain, but I do it anyways now, and then I draw three for Fountain anyways. They should have just negated Fountain effect to draw. Which I cannot prevent with Hugin. But it's like, I don't know what I draw here even. I would need to draw at least Camellia and more Runics. It's actually scripted.
I mean, ex does Exiton ever save me? Does Exiton ever save my ass here? Probably not. They have, they're they're going to have seven cards in hand. Well, the other option I have is I can go for... I can go for... Um, Charge Warrior. Like, Hugan, search another fountain. Charge Warrior, if I draw another runic... We draw three more. I have to. I have to risk it. I have to try and draw another runic. That has to be what I do. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Anyways. Do I check their hand or do I draw two? Probably check their hand. This ash. Oh, this ash. Oh, that ash is so. Bad for me. <laughs> it might be the ash, honestly. It might be the freaking ash. Actually, no, I can chain block. Uh, okay, so sprites, they have. Ooh, I think, honestly, chat, I think it's this. Because I have destruction for the secret pass for the for the thing that they search. And starter only summons blue with no target. I think it's this. But we should not be in this game. This is all... All of this just happened because they didn't negate the right card with freaking carrot. They negated the wrong card with carrot and that led to all this.
wasn't half an hour your last game don't 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 say that don't why why are you talking to me like that what are you saying that for So we know they have Ash, so we need to use this to summon. Otherwise, we could have used it defensively, but we need to use it to summon. The reason we have to use it to summon is so we can go chain link one fountain, chain link two Gary to chain block the Ash. Otherwise, we don't draw a card. And then we just hope they can't play that much. Because they are running low on cards. Now, if we win this game, that's one hell of a last game, okay? That's one hell of a last game. If we win this one, those subs were worth it, man. For you guys, not for me. If, yeah, it still is a big if. Okay, that's smart. It's smart to use this now because it means that I can't banish their target with the destruction. Because I think they only have one more blue in the deck. I don't think they have another... Unless they play multiple red or carrot, which they could. It's possible. It's not, it's not unheard of. They have a target for it. That is so cringe. Oh my god, I'm cringing. They play multiple red or carrot. Or pixies. Because one, one red is banished, one carrot is in the grave. They might be a Pixies gamer. But we are a god gamer. That's a difference. They're a Pixies gamer, maybe? No, they're a double red gamer. But we are a god gamer. There is a difference there, chat. There's a difference between being a double red gamer and a god gamer. So, they have the big twin. Uh, they have red. They have the card that they drew. What else? I, I forgot one card. Oh, Ash. Ash. Right, right, right. Ash, 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 Ash. Yeah, Ash. Okay. Not that bad for us. They are a Pixies gamer? Oh no, they're a Gamma Burst top deck gamer. Before the damage step, cool. Before the damage step, oh my god. Well, yeah, can't do shit about that. Okay, they top deck Gamma Burst. Do you watch football? Not really. End phase angle. Okay, that is so free for me. Dude, stop torturing me, game. I mean, they have 13 cards left in their deck.
I need to get rid of that ash. Or I want to get the draw. In which case, it's also fine to do this. But that ash needs to go, because I need to be... I need to, ge I need to get them under maxi. Are they only playing one elf, by the way? Is the extra deck that tight for Lifetoon Sprite? Why is the last game going on for 20 minutes? I have so many questions. Golden Droplet. Phenomenal. You look tired? That's because I'm being held hostage by my Twitch chat right now. They're forcing me to play um, runic games in this Duelist Cup. It's very stressful. You wouldn't understand. You wouldn't understand. This ash is gonna fuck me up, man. Why is this ash still there? I don't want it! I mean, I have to do it. I have to play into it. They have ash for it, but what am I gonna do? Use the ash! I don't want to play against this ash! Get this ash out of here! I'm so mo I'm molding at this ash blossom and I can't kill this sprite blue! This stupid bright blue, man. Life Twin Home. What the hell is this game, man? <laughs> Dude, please tell me they have no more targets. There's no way! There's no way, man! Oh my god. Uh... Oh my god! Dude, do I die? Is that 46? Pixies! This is called by the grave. It's called by the grave!
not game. Oh, it's game, man. Can't end on a loss? Dude, watch me end on a loss. Watch me end on a freaking loss. I'm ending on a freaking loss. Don't worry. Don't worry, man. Don't worry. <laughs> Chad, thank you so much for watching. I am actually tired. I am actually tired. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I mean, guys, I, th I think I'll send you guys over to Jesse because uh, Jesse's been grinding the Duelist Cup. You know, if you enjoyed, if you enjoyed this stream, you're probably gonna enjoy Jesse's stream. Uh, thank you for all the subs. Thank you for all the follows, all that good stuff. You know, thank you for all that. And uh, I'll see you guys on Tuesday. I'll see you on Tuesday. There's no stream tomorrow. Uh, I'm taking tomorrow off for reasons, but I'll be back on Tuesday. And I'll see you guys then. Thank you for watching. Until then, bye-bye. Peace. Rating Jesse as we speak. And then I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Can you guys hear the Pepe D in this scene? Yeah, you can. Okay, nice, nice, nice. All right, we're ending on a nice Pepe D. And I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Peace.